the Evangelion is gone. This is the first thing you realize when you awaken from the slumber induced by your illusory deaths at the claws, fangs, tail, spells and psionics of an equally illusory dragon. The sandstorm has retreated from Deserendi's Valley. You come to your senses, your body's throbbing from imagined wounds. Phantasms that flee like mist before the rising dark sun. What do you do? What do we do? <laughs> Stand in stunned silence. I, I take. I, I just lay down. Take play. a nap. Just take a nap. Yeah. Tin, having just restored the Evangie into life and thrust it back to the world of the living from within the grey, your body, your spirit are racked by the experience. You know it will be some time before you can tap into the life force of Athas to cast spells. Sometimes well, before you wield a weapon in combat. My only question, I suppose, is is it worth going after Corganard? Because he'll most likely be with the dragon, right? So uh, what are we going to focus on? The levy? Something else? Has Bengal is thinking, Rar is just on her knees, shaking violently from being ripped in half and it being a dream and is just completely out of it and fully just almost petrified in fear just unable to to move as as this goes on indeed you were almost scared scared quite literally to death i am rather disappointed though because what i experienced was an honorable death <laughs> and that was ripped from me are you kidding? You're alive still. That should be good, right? Oh, obviously, yeah. I mean, I was <laughs> the last one alive to face the dragon. Uh, well, I, that I being as it may, the, the real dragon's it. still out there, you know? Yes. If it's even real, we'll see. Well, something sent that illusion. Yes. I hope you're so, not question, questioning whether it's real, because it quite certainly is real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's that no doubt it. that... Well, no, but the dragon itself definitely exists. Well, something took Corganard. Well, it's still a Sorcerer King, regardless. Mm-hmm. That, that is true, if I would say, if com coming from the story. They, they, they're related. But... So... Sorry, you go on. Oh, go ahead. Well, no, I was just going to say maybe then we look more into like the Sorcerer Kings look, and their we connection. Ca we can't handle this dragon. You saw what happened. This was just the illusionary version, which we could never have won, but... How do you know that? Because we couldn't, have, we couldn't have won the, the illusion. An illusion doesn't no. work that way. An illusion is making you believe that you're actually in combat and it will keep going and you will keep trying to perpetuate the story of the illusion. But you, in the end, never win because it's not the purpose of the illusion is not for you to win. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't have control over it. It's happening in your mind. You're not actually fighting. You're not actually swinging a sword. I agree. But hasn't he played his cards early then? No. If we know we're looking... Who says that something that's not going to be an illusion in the future? More importantly, why did if it feared the weapons so much, why has it left them? It, it probably doesn't care about them, or maybe it just wanted Corganard. Otherwise, it would have engaged me. It let me do what I was doing because there was no reason to interrupt me. I was doing what it wanted. I don't know how how um, intensely he was focusing on the illusion playing forward. 
he might have just let the illusion play on and just focused on the the retrieval of the evangelion i'm not sure what happened but well, i, I know sent that... him back you sent who back corganard and when i came to he was gone so how do we know if it even happened? Um, I will attempt to draw the power from Athos, and it will fail. Uh, maybe you'll see a few sputterings of, you know, um, wisps where, where? of magic trying to um, manifest, but kind of blowing away in the breeze because I'm expended. Where's his, where's his heart and his time on? Not here. Well, yeah, because it actually did work, and the dragon did yes. come and get him. I think so. Um, I, for one, think that we need to get um, more answers. I need to have more knowledge about the dragon. Yeah. Before, before we can move forward. This is my opinion. And also, I need to figure out what happened... Uh, what happened with... Uh, my attempt to thwart uh, to thwart all this. What do you mean? I had some spells going, which something didn't didn't pan out. <clears throat> Portek has not discussed it uh, in person, as far as I remember. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, do you mean the um, the stuff we discussed over chat about what <clears throat> you saw? The t the, no, no, that for sure, because that's happening in the future. That's not here. Yeah, that's, that's where we're yeah. about to get to that. No, yeah. no, I'm talking about the time, the time jump. I don't think I actually. Did, that's what I really wanted to check in uh, in what rewatching no, the episode. No, but no, I don't, I think, don't I think I don't think you did. No. You know, you didn't discuss it. You no. Haven't. No. Uh, so I need to figure that out. Well, I guess we make our way back to Tia. I think that's yeah. probably best. Um, and Mark, we know where we can find knowledge about this, eh? The golden we still tower. need to hide the weapon? I think so. I'll give it to Ra. Uh, no. Portek tries to give it to Ra again. No, he doesn't. Are you talking about the, the weapon that kills the dragon? Because I already have that. No, you don't. It's on the floor because I used it. No, nobody <laughs> did. You guys thought you used it, but you didn't. <laughs> Can any of us pick it up? And we're giving uh, it to Portex, you. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, well, all right then. <laughs> Just trying to resolve the uh, situation. You okay. gave me a dummy sword to use. We can see it on the floor, though, can't we? No, Portex got it. I oh, thought last session it was on the floor with the spear. There's a lot of things you thought were happening last session that weren't. Oh, no. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait here to find out what the fuck's going on. Yeah, so have we still got the spear? Uh, Tic Tic has the spear. Okay. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be carrying the, the sword. It's, it's my burden to carry. My pressure. Uh, Mark, just checking, last time I spoke to you, I can still turn into animals and do basic things that way. I just can't. Use... <laughs> yeah, I think all your class abilities should be intact. Uh, it, just, it just says spellcasting and combat, so let's let's go by the letter for that. Thank Otherwise, you. Otherwise, um, you're going to have a pretty dull game. Uh, if we... <laughs> yeah. Um, if we need to return uh, to Tyr, I can still uh, manifest forms, so I can still get you all home. I Let's think that's then. what we should be doing, yes. Uh, where's Kavas? Um, Kavas by now has returned from his um, heroic uh, investigation of events in the surrounding trees. What it did you see? Took, it, I saw a storm. I thought I saw a dragon. But then I ran. When I came back, the storm was gone, and so was the dragon. Did it... Did it work? 
I think so. It worked. I wa- he he was in he was returning to his body. What happened between him returning from the gray and my return from the gray? I don't know. But what you were seeing in the gray was that also part of the illusion? Is the question? No, there's you, you could affect my mind, but you wouldn't be able to diminish my power or my facilitation in that realm. Okay. So then it worked. Where is he now? That's what I want to know. We think the dragon took him. Well, as the only one that wasn't dead by the illusion, we were hoping you might be able to answer that question. Yes. The storm filled the valley. I saw nothing. What are you going to do? Not run and hide. (laughs) Running and hiding might be the sensible solution. It'll just kill you. Well. I suppose if you're scared of death, that matters. Uh, Yes, I am, and yes, it does. I'm not necessarily scared of death, but I am a kind of unwilling to throw it away needlessly and that's at the moment this looks what we're what we're doing at the moment we need to have more information we there was need another to illusion be better once, prepared where ra died in an illusion to the guy that come in our dreams killed ra with some sort of spell made her to dust my poisons wouldn't work on it other stuff wouldn't work on it yet when we had to face him we killed him. What's the difference Just between check. this? Well, and the difference—the difference between that and this—is that we know that person's weakness. Can I just? I thought that that happened. I could be remembering wrong. I thought that that happened in Matthias's dream, so that none of us actually saw or experienced it. It was all in Matthias's head, right? Exactly. It was a dream, as well as opposed to an illusion. But yes, correct. Yeah, so we we didn't go through that, um, and it, yeah, so we didn't actually like we weren't actually acting it out, and there was no, yeah. No, yeah. you never experienced that, no. We keep falling to illusions. One was in the forest. Yeah. You mean Karana, yeah. Well, it is something that is difficult to to, to, to thwart and to spot. The amount of damage we did to that illusion would have killed anything. You did 266 points of damage to it. I'm not saying we can go up against it yet, and I agree with you, more knowledge would be beneficial. But I'm just saying, don't be disheartened to the fact that... If we we knew its weakness, then we could do double that damage, but we are capable of it. It's weak. It's weak to the two weapons that we have. The other magical weapons that we have found upon are on the, the dark places of Athas. The forgotten places of Athas. And I'll just pull out the two weapons that I've got. These can hurt it. I also wasn't fighting. Exactly. I think we should uh, go back into Tyr and investigate. uh, Mm -hmm. I agree with you, but my point is, I don't want you to be disheartened in the fact that we're fighting an unkillable foe. I'm just disheartened that I brought back an Evangian to have him killed again. We don't know that yet, but the point is, yes, some of us may die against this creature. Yes, that's, uh, yeah, it's quite possible. I would like to do that. It's fine if that, if, if we have a, have, a, have a good chance to actually vanquish it, I would say it's worth it. To tear them. Right. 
I'll once again assume so, the form of a sandworm. Mm-hmm. Cradle them carefully in your mouth and proceed back down the tunnel you've already created, connecting Desirendi's Valley to Tyr. You got a whole network of these things. It'd be quite cool. The city, uh, you only left it a couple of days ago. <clears throat> Takes you about a day or so to travel back the same route you came. But it seems like a different place. Illusory or not, your close encounter with the dragon has left you facing uh, certain and inevitable possibilities, as Matthias has said. This thing is beyond any of you. Uh, whereabouts in Tyr do you go? Um, just to quickly run down, there's Matthias's villa, there's the uh, Dwarven Military Academy, there's Corodius's caravan, Sarai, there is Matthias's farm, there's Portex farm, and there is the newly acquired Minthor estates and townhouse. And those are the, just, just the properties that you guys know about, I'm not counting Corodius's <coughs> secret business empire. Okay. <laughs> um, where where did you guys tell Tin to go? To Tia. No <laughs> shit. Anywhere in particular, or should I just pull up out front like a, a shitty Uber? I mean, what do you want? Where, 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 where did we leave from is the question. I suppose we just returned there. I think you left from the... the um, academy. Academy, yeah. Yeah, the academy. Okay. All right, so um, there are plenty of places there where you can be comfortable. Um, there are staff rooms, guest rooms, uh, dormitories, uh, a small bathhouse, the offices, of course, the training yards. Since the attack of a couple of days ago, the place has uh, been on lockdown and there is still a strong cordon of, uh, of dwarven guards outside. They know you, of course, admit you readily. And you can ensconce yourself, Portek within your study, the rest of you within his guest quarters, uh, while you prepare for whatever comes next. So it's at this point, Portek, that I presume you um, you do your stone tell and learn yep. the things that we discussed in uh, in our little chat. Perhaps you'd like to share that with the group. Share it with the class, please. <laughs> um, uh, um, that's, that, that's, assuming, that's assuming you so desire. Um, um, push, I, I, push your I, I, I don't, I don't mind to, to share, but it will it will be out of character. Because he's not going to share it in character. Okay. Well, fine. Well, and and and, and sh shall we do it like that, or do you want to put a, put a flashback in? How do you want to do it? I just um, want to know what's going on. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, <go on. laughs> why don't you? Why don't you? Why don't you spill it, Carl? Okay. So I, <clears throat> as you guys maybe uh, uh, remember, I jumped back in time to warn Portek. Uh, uh, to take steps uh, to hide the fact that we were actually getting the sword and were succeeding in it. Um, mm -hmm. And then when I and I immediately jumped back from the past uh, to the future, and then came out <clears throat> into the courtyard and we battled the the Kaishar guy. Remember? Mm -hmm. But the funny thing wa was that I started to realize that I don't remember me warning myself. So the, the the time loop wasn't close. What's uh, and <laughs> that's what's going on here? And I was thinking, I was thinking, what could have happened? Somehow, nothing changed, and I didn't warn myself, which I would have done if I if 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 I'd gotten. So it looked like I did never got the message or something. And I was like, what's going on? I really couldn't figure it out. I felt really stupid. <laughs> and then I thought, what, what can I do? What can I do to figure out what was going on? Um, because you can't jump back to the time that it happened, because once you've jumped there once, you can't jump back, back there again. It doesn't mm -hmm. do that. So I thought long and hard, and I finally came across one of the spells that uh, Portek knows as an Earth Cleric, and that is that the stones can tell him what has transpired. So he went back to his study and I asked the stones what has transpired, and I've been pointing on the specific moment that I jumped back in time, and what happened afterwards. Whether, it actually, whether they actually saw me arrive from uh, the future and what happened, what transpired, and what happened when I left. And the stones saw me arrive uh, and they saw me make myself and uh, the Portek in the room invisible. Yeah. 
and they saw me whisper uh, uh, in, in, uh, in the ear of Portek the things that he needed to know. And then they saw me leave. And then they saw the other invisible creature in the room appear and dispel the, the, the projected image of Portek in the room, which I was being whispering stuff into. And then go over uh, to the, uh, the real Portek in the room, which is sitting further away in the room and uh, writing some symbol on the back of his head. Uh, and then disappearing himself. And the creature was one of the Kaisharga. Oh. So, so you traveled back in time and, and spoke to an illusion. Yeah. And then, then it put a, a thing on your head to allow itself to better track you through time. Yeah. What a noob. <laughs> wow, you're bad at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, but Rude. Matthias would have done better, right, Matthias? Rude, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, uh, so, uh, Portek, you um, cast your stone tell, stone tell and learn what exactly transpired during your time traveling here uh, uh, three days ago now. Um, for the rest of you, uh, we have no injuries are real, so all those hit points you lost, I'm just going to give, wow, you guys were really messed up. We got on 14. What do you mean? You're we were dead. You were on 68. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Matthias, <laughs> your last round, you ended on 48. Portek, your last round, you were on 7 before he killed you. Rog got down to 6 hit points before it tore her in half. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, okay. You can, you can hear, um, hear the, the hidden sense of enjoyment in the voice. Hey, guys, you're, you're, you're paying so attention. <laughs> Wait, could you tell me again how Portek died? I just need this as tin. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it. I need to hear it. <laughs> I just want to hear it. I just love the last few minutes of Tick Tick bouncing around the place with one hit point, <laughs> stabbing away with a spear. <laughs> this desperate bug with a stinger. Very cool. Okay, so um, let me hey, get a well, sense yeah. of what you guys are actually after you've done your uh, your little bit of uh, spell casting. What is the plan for the group then? Um, you had talked about. Uh, learning more about the Sorcerer Kings, um, Bingle Bangle. Um, Portek, you agree with that likewise. Um, Matthias, as I mentioned to you, word has come back from your various contacts regarding routes into the Golden Tower. There is, um, as I said in chat, a secret door on the north side of the tower, access through the Royal Gardens. And there is also a, a disused sewer, which you can reach um, through Undertier, that will intersect with the tunnel that runs underneath the arena and into the Golden <clears throat> Tower from there. Oh, and there's always the front door as well. Okay, so. okay. Be be before any of this gets discussed, Portek comes out of uh, the study and he says, guys, maybe you could uh, take this whole endeavor elsewhere. I need to figure <laughs> out a couple of things. Uh, and you cannot know what I'm be doing, but I can't know what you guys be doing. I might be jeopardizing you. Um, I will see you in a bit and I will contact you when it's done. Okay, well, okay. best of luck to you then. Whatever it is. We, we need it, yeah. Sure. Okay. Right. To the villa. I'll see you guys later. See you later. To Portek. And as we okay. leave, I'll say, right, we're not going back to the villa. We'll go to the Mintha estate. Clever. Okay, uh, Carl, are you wanting to swap over to Corodius, or are you going to keep playing Portek? Yeah, uh, we, we do the thing that we discussed. Um, yeah. uh, me finding out what and how to do things and how to get rid of things and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then that's how Corodius comes in the loop, and then Corodius can start in the game as well. Okay, cool. Okay, good. I've got her noted down here now. All right. Um, okay, so uh, to the Mintha estate, uh, which is still in the process of being uh, renovated with, um, I guess, your own house colors or whether you're keeping the Mintha colors um, and moving your own people in, weeding out which are the loyal uh, guards, which yeah. are disloyal, which servants you can, you can rely on. So it's pretty much a hive of activity back and forth. Um, however, it's not hard for you guys to find a secluded place. Um, you could even, if you wish, I suppose, go into the, um, the little thing un below an under tier. Um, where you had your encounter with uh, with Malpain yes. and his megapedes. I'd like um, to install a lead room 
as well. So I'd like That's to not happening that. today, but you can um, do like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, all the money. So is that where you want to go into the little kind of secret, secret base below in Undertale? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll go there. Cool. All right. Fine. Um, well, it's uh, there then while you guys are, are busy resting, recuperating, and uh, deciding, I, I guess, on which route into the Golden Tower to take, if that's the, uh, if that's yeah. the approach you want to take, um, that Corodius, uh, Corodius finds you. She's been down here herself before, so it's not hard for her to locate you. Um, yep. And she's not on her own. I'll kill him. With her is, you knew her initially as Amber, the Enchantress Sidira. Her long auburn hair is tied back in a loose braid. And her almond-shaped half-elven eyes flick around the ruined, uh, the ruined encampment taking in the glories of a bygone age. And she nods at you. I hope I'm not intruding, Sidira says. I uh, found Carodius here and asked her to bring me to you as soon as possible. Well, welcome to my new home. Hmm, I see a... Uh, Fate has smiled on you, Lord Minthor. Um, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to business. Uh, I came to you because I figured you're the most likely to know what's going on. Um, Uruk has been granted an abeyance. An abeyance of the levy. Assume that I don't know this word, abeyance. Uh, <clears throat> okay. A pass. We, we, yeah. We heard from Alliance spies in Uruk, in the Lion King's court, that word just came to them that they were being spared the levy. In <laughs> some kind of show of gratitude? I don't, I don't know. Well, uh, who signed off on that? I have so many questions. Why? What? When? How? Well, why would the dragon grant Hamanu of Uruk freedom from the levy? What for giving him this? information that only he would have had? Are you speculating? What kind of information? Do you know something? I don't know anything. And I just go walk over, kind of just sit, settle into the you ground and just pull up my hood. Could you, you look terrible? Just, Remind me of who this person is again, or what, how we know her and stuff. I'm to Sidira know. was the alliance contact who Melanda put you in touch with way, way back <coughs> when you were trying to escape from Tyr um, in order to find the Heartwood Spear. She's a sort of on and off uh, a girlfriend of either Agus or Rikus. <clears throat> um, there's a little triangle thing going on there. And um, she's a fairly highly placed member of Tears Veiled Alliance. You've worked with her on a couple of occasions. You might remember yeah, her more by her name, her. by her name Amber. Yeah. Okay. A manu um, he's um, I I had a vision when I touched um, when I was between, you know, when I was doing the thing. What? Um, what thing? And I, I look over at the group to see if it's okay to say what we were trying but, to do. This, well, yeah. considering you can't see, but I'm just going. Fuck up. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Our, if I hear you going, why like, are you having visions trust, of Manu? If we trust Nay on the the thing, Nay. <laughs> Well, we obviously trust this person, so... And... What's as we, we should have done? Do we? Like, when was the last time we saw her? Ten million episodes ago? Well, I'm we would standing have done right the... here. Oh, sh the... Shut up. We're having Usual. a sidebar. Nick of the Thinger, but I think that's all over with, isn't it? The old white blood stuff. Um... Irodius, uh, says, Ortec, uh, just talk to me. 
I think uh, Hamanu gave. Uh... Oh, we've guessed that much. Yes. From under the hood, I'm going to say, yeah, just said but, Hermanu but what was told the him information? something. What, what? Yeah, what was what? it exactly? Listen. Okay, are I'm, we really going to have to key her in on this? greatest rival. I really wish you would. Uh, I'm not talking to you yet. <laughs> Tyr's greatest rival has been granted an abeyance from the levy for a king's age. Not this year. For a king for seventy seven years. Okay. That's seventy seven thousand people. We are also trying the, to figure it out. The Lion King could build an army out of the people spared from the levy. Never mind anything Simba. else. Hamanu gave him <laughs> Hamanu gave him the Avangion. The Avangion's dead. He died in yeah, about no, that. He's... Yeah, under from under the hood again, and uh, no, he's not. Well, he might be soon, but not at the moment. We uh, tried to bring him back, and while we did, I had a vision of Hamanu um, throwing me away as a baby. Oh, really? <laughs> Turn to where I hear Bengal and just nod and lower my head. Oh. This doesn't surprise me. It is said that the spirit of the Evangelion can roam through time and space. So... Why did you not tell someone you were doing this? We could have helped you. Because telling gets us into trouble. Oh, well, good job you're not in any now, then. Okay, we don't need the sass, we just need the help. What? I would say you're going after it, but clearly you're not. We plan to, but we need more information. We need to know how to deal with it. It, it took care of us in, 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 in moments, as far as I understood. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even real. But we know where we can find this information. Where? Where? Kalak was, was hiding all this information, of course. The Golden Tower? Obviously. This Even is where you're not high, highly but, placed enough for the Templar to get a, to gain entrance, my lady Carodius. I know, I know, I know, and I will also not <clears throat> be seen to uh, be directly associated with any retrieval of information from that place. But I have somebody in mind who will be a great benefit to the group to do so. And how will this person benefit you? I mean the group. Help you get into the tower and get into the places that you need to go. Fine. Well, so who is it then? I will uh, make sure that uh, he contacts you after our uh, conversation. Okay, so I'm going to go back and talk to my superiors in the Alliance and, with your permission, update them on what you've done and what's happened. Don't spread it too you far. Sh should have said something. If we cannot recover this loss... We're trying to prevent the loss from even happening. What are the Alliance plans currently then? Well, right now they're probably going to be something along the lines of, of panic. And what have they been for the last... When did we last speak? 
We are split on the issue of divulgence, still. Our attempts to have spellcasting legalized through the council have come to nothing. We could maybe use your support in that regard. So it's more politics then. And his question was actually quite direct. Were you panicking before uh, you got this news? No. Is that because you were actually endorsing the fact that we were continuing with the levy? Yeah, I guess said you discovered that. Mm -hmm. Just now we're putting the cards on the table. You see why we don't trust people? Yeah. And what goes around comes around. And why didn't you tell us? The first year, the other city-states paid our levy. We can't put ourselves in that position again. And there was no other choice. So, And did... we didn't tell you because we figured you'd try and stop us. This so is it's what a we nice did. case try... of, uh, to, please tell us everything. We will tell you nothing. But we will scold you for not telling us while we don't tell you. <clears throat> I love your logic. The thing the is... Logic is... The logic is sound, Constantine. If you had stopped us from delivering the levy, like really stopped us, you would have brought the dragon down upon Tyr. If you told us what you were planning with the Evangian, we could have protected him. What protections did you put in place? Well, they're around me. What, like, protected him the first time? When we got ambushed in your uh, secret hideout? Uh, that was Uruk, not Tyr. It was the Veiled Alliance nonetheless, but still. Uh, it was the Urukite Veiled Alliance. Sure, yes. <clears throat> They're not connected. No. Yet we were still recommended by you to go and seek them out, though. What's your point? My point is, you, as Constantine is saying, you schooled us for keeping information. Yet you do exactly the same. Are we connected somehow? Us two? The Veiled Alliance? Forgive me, Matthias, but you're not exactly proving yourself to be responsible custodians of the deepest secrets that we're dealing with, are you? You've just had Corganites snatched out from under your noses. Mm. While others just let him die. At least now he's alive to be recovered. He was dead before that. Yet you're more interested in making magic legal. I think we're done here, and I think our conversation would be, no, we don't want you to unveil what we've been doing unless you ask our permission well I think they're going to do it regardless I, I, I doubt a, approval and permission at this point is going to stop anybody from doing what they want to do I I, th I think what we uh, should uh, not do here is try to create um, a schism between the very few allies that we have um, look the Veiled Alliance is, uh, some, is a group in this city that we cherish um, because it gives us support. Um, scolding us on uh, failing something um, is kind of pointless. It's, uh, um, we've all failed at uh, things before in the past. We're going to try and, and, and rectify it. This is what we're going to try and do. So let's be constructive here. And so there, I would like you to uh, please be constructive as well. Um, in this and let's find a way to gain more knowledge to figure out what's going on here the the bottom line is we would not be stopping the levy uh, as such if we knew exactly what the levy was for nobody seems to be able to explain to us what's done with this levy and why does it serve the purpose if you spoke to Aegis we came on to the crucial question at our last meeting uh that was absolutely the most important question of that whole meeting. And that is why are the Sorcerer Kings supporting this levy, even though it costs them everything? 
there must be something going on that that levy puts in keeps in place and uh, that the dragon keeps in place that they're more afraid of than the dragon itself they could handle the dragon if they they, they bunch up as, as sorcerer kings they could deal with it and they don't they choose not to And you think you'll find answers to these questions in the Golden Tower? Well, at least it will give us some answers to that. Yes. Uh, or at least a point to start getting the proper answers that we need. And we need to know this because we need to know why we're doing something. Uh, what we also might find out in the tower is how to actually deal with this dragon. Because from what I understand from Portek, I wasn't there myself. You guys failed miserably and that's not because you lack, <laughs> lack power. It's just because it's so incredibly powerful. So we need to figure out what are its weak points. This is how we dealt with the the, the order as well. We dealt them through their weak points. That's how we this dealt how... with Kalak too. Exactly. So we need Top more information. And coming, uh, if we talk about, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll refrain from any uh, accusations after this, but information you guys have more information about a lot of things than we have, especially in this city. You should have given us more information to actually answer these questions. After we spoke to Aegis, he should have come to us and help us find these answers that we're looking for. And that goes Do, on don't, to you, my point. don't you agree? That goes on to my point, is everyone we come against, everyone we speak to, Hamanu, these enemies, no one gives us answers. Exactly. And if you want to stop us doing the things that we do, give us the answers to actually convince us why we should stop doing the things that we do. This is what we told them. Information allows us to make informed I'll, I'll tell, decisions. I, I, I'll tell you what Hamanu told uh, the party here. Uh, some questions should not be asked, is what he said. Are you aware of this? I see what my land meant about you, Carodius. I don't have any answers to those questions. I don't know what the levy is for. I don't know what the sorcerer kings fear. I don't know what the dragon does with the captives from every city-state. Nobody does. I, I, if Tithian I, knows, he wouldn't tell us. Exactly. But he, I guess he certainly didn't know. Okay. I think the sorcerer kings know, yes. Because that Templar who came from Nibane, she by all the burnt black elements knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe you will find what you seek in the tower. So the you Veld Alliance, the, the Veld Alliance is f just over five hundred years old. So you you were here when uh, the previous. Uh... Evangen was killed by the dragon outside the city. The alliance was, yes. Yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Before obviously. My time. No, 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 no. Yeah, and that's what got it that's what got it killed. Yeah. So do you have libraries? Yeah, 500 years is not very old eh, as you as you well know from the information that we dug up the last uh, the That's last, my uh, point. Yeah. We're not very old at all. Yeah, but you'd still have information of the past if you'd found information. 500 think... years ago, <laughs> you might have had information from the previous 500 years. I think you, you should talk to your friend Portek about that. He's been able to teach us a few things about the past. What do you mean by that? Portek's libraries are the equal of anything that the uh, Alliance has here in Tyr. Maybe you didn't realize this about your little dwarven friend. If there's anything I can help you with directly in your uh, attempt to uh, breach the tower, please let me know. You can leave a message from Melander at the usual place. You haven't uh, un uncovered any knowledge that is so far not known to us in the Undertier, because that's where you, uh, where you people rule. There are things down there that are as old as the city, but I'm not going to go looking for them. Right. Well, as you say, 
the conversation is over. Um, I will join you on the way back. Um, <clears throat> the person I'm going to be sending you will be a specialist in, uh, uh, for better words, burglaries. Burg burglaries, uh, that is. Uh, what you'll be needing here. Okay, be safe. So we're, n we're not even just infiltrating the library, we're going to steal the information? I think we, we should we should be uh, infiltrating and stealing them, but you need both, right? I guess so. Well, it's only me that reads. <clears throat> More than you can read these days. I can't read. <laughs> you might want to consider um, stocking up on uh, forms of healing. I suppose. The person I will be sending you will not be a healer. And I don't see Portek and um, Tin doesn't look like he's in any state to do anything whatsoever. You look like shit too. <laughs> Just say. Good luck, guys. Likewise, Sidera says. And she turns and, uh, in. Yep. Yeah. Together with Corodius, down the hallway, up the stairs, back to the surface, and away. Right, so I presume you then you're waiting here, waiting for her, her specialist to, uh, to arrive? Okay, Carl, why don't we get your, uh, your other character on scene then? Okay. Um, I don't like it. Make a poison. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a short adventure. <laughs> Minus six. Briefly check up. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a, that's a fail. Oh, dear. <laughs> what did he roll? <laughs> I, I rolled a seven, and then minus six makes it a one. So. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. So, uh, is, is your new character just going to join them in their little underground base? Um, yes, he is, actually. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't know what you guys are going to be doing, but at a certain oh. point, out of, the sh out of the shadows, a dwarf appears. Here's out of the shadows, and I definitely should. <laughs> oh man! Back him if I sense poor, him. Poor take. You look a little uh, different. <clears throat> Sorry, I only go by height for people. Heightist. Face blindness, you know. Mm -hmm. Wait, so this, this person thing. just appears randomly in front yeah. of us? Yeah, quite literally appears randomly in front of you, a short dwarf. What did you say your name was there, Carl? Lodo of Balik. Lodo, of course, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I will, I will, I will draw, knock an arrow and draw it. I am obviously struggling to hold the uh, the string back. Yeah, Lodo smiles. Like... <laughs> I'm just. Lodo smiles and cooks cooks his face. <laughs> and a welcome to you too. I've been, you must uh, be the uh, spe <clears throat> the specialist. I have been hired by uh, the lady Kurodias. Yes. Okay, I well, like um, word. I'd rather what know the do? fact that she knows you well. Uh, she knows me well. She most certainly pays me well, and I think that is uh, a very important factor here. Uh, for the kind of mission that uh, she has proposed that I should be aid aiding you in. A good payment uh, and a swift retirement afterwards is the best plan of action. So, what has the good lady Kyrodias proposed that you help us do? Infiltrate the Golden Tower. That's what she said. This is all she said. Of course, when she proposed it, I laughed, thinking she would make it was making a joke. Was just... mm hmm. 
but she clearly wasn't. And then when she offered me the money that uh, would indeed allow it's, me to It's kind afterwards. of a normal reaction when it concerns us, I'm not gonna lie. But thank you for coming. So what do you do? Zeke. Uh. So what were you doing? Speaking. This is what I do, yes. I have uh, psionic abilities. Oh. And I have... Uh, how do you call it? Um, um, bur burglary abilities? That's just, those are where my skills lie. Hmm. Just time out. You're the first character in, in almost 40 years of running the indie who's straight up admitted to being a thief. Absolutely. <laughs> Normally it's I'm a locksmith, I'm a juggler, I'm no. a, a singer, <laughs> I'm a... This is dark side singer. after all. People don't, people don't beat around the bush here. <laughs> nope. Listen, I'll be dead in a week. I I'm, a, I'm a burglar. I'll tell other you right people's now. things. <laughs> this, is, this, this is what I get hired for. Yes. <laughs> Well, if you're I good, you're good, I guess. I'm a five-finger discount expert. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Cool. Uh, okay, Lodo, nice. Well, I suppose... So, um, do you guys kid, kill him and take his stuff, or is he going to get to join the party? Uh, I, I Has he got any magic uh, lost the arrow in a straight he, line? I failed. No. He, I think we, we got to do the initiation process of dangling him over a fire and just tickling him. This what you guys didn't do ritual. this? No, no, we didn't. <laughs> I do must this. have gone to the wrong party. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right party, wrong day of the week. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, so there, there's no hazing to follow. No, I mean, uh, actually, wait. Mm -hmm. We're uh, we yes. We need to do that anymore. I mean, we've. we've oh, killed. come on! It's our ritual. I'll just unknock my uh, bleed my red or die, and I'll just say, uh, I just. I just can't uh, be asked enough it. for this, don't. and I just sit down back down. Didn't we get rid of that problem? Yeah, but you know, I think so. Yeah, we've done right. it to literally everybody we've ever Bingo, met. Bingo, Bingo says, Are we going to stop uh, now? He's tradition. literally the last. He could be the last one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why go out with a bang? You know. All right. Yes, yeah, so if you wouldn't mind, would you mind uh, just pricking your finger, making sure that you don't have milk for blood? He takes uh, a dagger and cuts his skin. Shows it. I'm not sure it's what this red, is for. It's red, baby. Yay! Why is okay. it green? I was just... <laughs> oh, God! I just I'll do I'll mine sit down it. I'll do mine and lean over to Bengal. <laughs> and I'm just like, is... what color is it? Pink. Blue. <gasps> and I kill him. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Ra Ra doesn't know what blue is, though, so I mean, you could just be... That's All our blood is blue. She <laughs> knows it should be red. <laughs> is blue good? Is that right? Is that the There's right some one? Some twerp in the corner going, my blood is blue. <laughs> <laughs> very blue and very, very, very thin. Yes. Uh, yeah, right. So, um, front door, cellar, or secret garden entrance. Or some mad shit of your own devising. Oh, my God. Um, are there magical defenses? Yeah, what other inf did we get information for that sort of stuff? Uh, no, the tower itself is supposed to be made from uh, Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dog. It sounded yeah. like yeah. a construction crew in the background. <laughs> is he My digging? Dog is, uh, My yeah, dog's now dig barking. Dig into he's his digging cell. to the center of the earth. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so the tower itself is supposed to be made from actual gold, right? Um, so all lies presume, and hearsay. Yeah, or you can presumably like just dig through the exterior, um, and one would expect there to be considerable amounts of magical protections, given that it was the home of a sorcerer king. Yes. Oh. But I mean, well, isn't that why we bought the burger robot? Let's let's burger robot. Uh, uh... Yeah. <laughs> um. I, I, I think I think the sewer is a, probably a better approach, just because it's yeah. below ground. And then we make our well. Okay, so how does the sewer connect to the tower, though? Do we know that? Like, where Violently. does it come up? Yeah, yeah, I'll show oh, you. Okay. Um, let's go. To As the, every the sewer tier. should. Yes. The tier map. Where's tier? There we go. It's just sewering at you. 
If your sewer so doesn't gush like you've just had Chipotle, is it a sewer? <laughs> Dwarf, you can bring that up on... Uh, I did. On, uh, oh, thank you. Okay, right. Oh, so I'm not I'm even just... in roll 20. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> Where is okay, it? That's a... Right. Where is okay, it? Um, Where is it? Yeah, so... Uh, Dwarf, if you can zoom in so that you've got everything from the ziggurat to the golden tower in the picture. Uh, actually, about, about where you've got it is good, actually, come to think of it. That'll just about fit it in the screen. Okay, so job, right, about, right about here is uh, a thing called the Moon Tears, right? And it's an area in the back streets around the brickyards that is always caving in. And every time they cover it up, a couple of days later, it's caved in again. Can you ping okay. that again? Sorry, I wasn't. I'm, I'm, I'm pinging, conti pinging continuously. Oh, yeah. Boing. We have fond memories Boing. of that place. Boing. Boing. Um, and that leads you, uh, that will, uh, if you go down there, you will eventually, uh, there's, you will eventually discover a, um, a disused sewer, like an access into what used to be a sewer. And that runs in this direction. Boing. Until somewhere around here, it intersects with the tunnel that ran uh, runs under the arena connecting Ziggurat and Golden Tower. The, the, the one that's one. made of obsidian. It's, yeah, the one that Kalak crawled down um, after you'd stabbed him with the spear. Yeah, God, what a freak. Uh, now, that was supposed to have been filled in, uh, but uh, Matthias's bard contacts tell him that things burrowing into it, and probably whatever burrowed into it from the sewer, uh, made a hole in the in the tunnel that caused the sand that was filling it to uh, leak out in uh, the, um, the the southern half of it. So the tunnel should be clear from here on all the way under the tower, all the way under the arena, sorry, and into the bottom of the uh, the golden tower itself. Okay. And from there, is it just a question of getting up to the floor that we um, need? Yeah, and presumably, well, Kalak went down and into the tunnel from the golden tower. Right? Yeah. So there'll be some route back up into it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. And if you were to take another route, the uh, the secret door is on this wall right there. But that means getting into the, into the King's Gardens. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm presuming this is being laid out uh, in front of us by Matthias? Yes. Yeah, Matthias is crudely sketching this quickly with a, a small piece of charcoal and a few bits of colored, uh, colored little nibs that he's got left over. It Can we get a roll me... for how good the art is of this map? Yeah. You, you wanna Natural 20. Yeah. Well done, Matthias. Uh, I also smell you bullshit. Is there something wrong with my sense of smell? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, your character can't engage in combat or cast spells or detect bullshit. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here spell. comes some now. <laughs> 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 it's rolling in really quick. <laughs> Weirdly, Lee, that's actually what I rolled as well. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that's a and I'm just sitting over foul. here like, smells like a storm's a coming. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Um, well, that puts it quite clearly. I see that we have no spellcasters among us, do we? No. Our one's broken. Okay. Yeah, then the sewer is the only option. Because how are we going to get into that garden unseen as a group? Yeah. Um, I'm going with sewer. Sewer. Oh. I don't know. How I, I would prefer the garden. You guys, but, uh, where do you want me? I can see it's happening. Well, you want to rest, don't you? Is, so that there's no way I could be useful, oh, then I'll stay behind. I'll make us a, a, a quiche for when you get back. What what, what 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 are your powers that you can use? I can sneak a bit and I can turn into things. What do you mean turn into things? Is it druid? Ah. If you can still obviously you can still do that, then you'll Then you could you could you could turn into very sneaky animals as well. Yeah, I do that anyway. So that sounds like a you have a you have certainly have a role to play. The animals that you turn into, do they also have their their natural abilities, poisons, that kind of thing? Yeah, they do. But I can't exert myself even in those forms for a little while longer. Okay. So you'll have a scouting role then. Sounds to me, right? 
Yep, so be it. Yeah. Or a lookout or something like that. Um, doesn't sound, it doesn't sound to me that you're like you're useless. What do you think? No, I can no, still do check. some things. Where do you want me to go? Oh, I think we should th con contrive of a plan on how to get to the sewers and, and, and work our way in slowly, surely. The, uh, I the, 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 the plan is quite straightforward uh, in, in as much as it means is it's go to the moon tiers, um, go down them and see the sewer and go into it and crawl and don't stop until you reach the tower. Good. Let's do that then, right? Um... Obviously, the Mintha estate. Choo -choo. Is there anything here that might uh, have a few items, like healing potions and stuff? Uh, one minute, please. I must, obviously, I, I've obviously found the treasury, so... Yeah. I did make notes on this. Where the hell is he? Ooh. Well, <clears throat> I just want to ask for Bengal. I mean... He's obviously, you know, muscle, but uh, as a halfling, he can be covert as well. So Very stealthy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how many people we want doing this job, but a lookout or something, I could be as well. We need we need the muscle to handle whatever gets thrown to us if the, the stealth fails, right? So yeah. We go, we go stealth first, and we, um, mm -hmm. we, we try to, to bring our muscle as far in as possible. But have yeah. the, the, the muscle on a close call to to deal with whatever happens if things go south. We have well, that's perfect because I can, well. I can be there for both, um, and it wouldn't take uh, either Tick Tick or Ra, I think, very long. Okay. So... Let me check something. My notes Do... that Poor Tech gave me. Do we know actually where the library is located in the tower? Do we have any idea? We know it's somewhere in the tower. That's it. I'm just gonna have, just let me look at Portex uh, at uh, Corellius' stats real quick here for you. Yeah. Uh, give me a d20 roll. This is a local history roll at minus six. So you want 14 or higher. Devil's gaseous form. That's a fail. <laughs> I've never seen one. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's, a, that's a pass. That's a pass. So uh, I mean, I meant you wanted fourteen or lower. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no higher than fourteen. So that's a pass. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's an ability check. Uh, so yeah, um, you have actually heard tell that the Royal Library, uh, I'm pretty sure, is the top floor. Okay, so we will have to work our way through the from the from the sewer all the way up the tower then. Yeah, yeah, the Royal Turian Library is at the very highest floor of the tower. Okay, this is what I uh, convey then. Okay. While they're uh, discussing that, I'm gonna whisper to Ra and Tick Tick and just say, "If things go sideways, I'm sorry, my friends. I'm gonna have to hide behind you." It is okay. Don't be sorry. It's it's fine. It's what we do. Not normally for me, though. It's what I do. Okay. Um, to answer your questions, uh, Matthias, about looking for potions, uh, potion fruit, yes. Um, <clears throat> Verassi had one potion fruit of invisibility, two of extra healing, and three of charm person. Maybe we, maybe we should briefly go past the Elven Market and see whether we can uh, score more healing. Oh, hang on a minute. <clears throat> so, pull, pull that up. How many greater healing? Uh, two. Two greater healing. So I've now got three. Times three. And there was an invisible potion, yeah. And a couple of charm persons. And uh, three charm persons, yeah. yeah. And three top and three charm person, right? Yeah. Uh, if you want to go Elven Market, let me just roll for you. There are D4 minus one. There are no potions available at the Elven Market at the moment. Oh. Very sorry. Sorry. Okay. No healing, guys. 
bag of bones is I have, I have two potions of healing still. I have... Um, I have a potion of extra healing, I'm pretty sure. Let me look. Okay, be aware we have don't have uh, any priests uh, with us, so that you make sure that uh, everybody knows about the healing and where it's there, and that it can be administered to people who need the healing desperately. One other question. Um, potion of ga uh, gaseous form. I can't find it in the wizard spell, but is it a priest? Uh, no. no, it's not a spell, it's just a potion. How long does it last? A variable amount of turns. T turns a long one, isn't it? Yeah, ten that's ten minutes. Yeah, ten okay. rounds. Um, but then I have a, an option for Ra. We could... She could drink this. Um, we could put her in a in a vial. Would she survive in a vial as a gas? Doesn't need air, she would, she? She would I will survive. start singing goodbye, as Moon Man, as if I'm the fart from Rick and Morty. If you <laughs> goodbye. So, so we, we could bottle Ra. Yeah. Bottled half giant. That's uh, bottled, bottled half, half giant. giant. Wait, <laughs> you like throw the <laughs> no, vial not and then I pop out and it's like I'm a Pokemon? Because that'd be great. Yeah. We could. I could throw you in and then, yeah. Mark, um, how possible yeah. is it for Tin to cur to make some healing infusions or healing cells? That'll take 24 hours, but if he's got healing and herbalism, he can do I that. I do. Yeah, okay. So one he can make. Uh, if you spend 24 hours doing it, we've actually figured out that there's an overlap system whereby you can end up making four. But that's all you do for 24 hours. Uh, I will ask the group. I could make you some um, healing infusions, healing selves, if you give me a day. We have a day. Why not? Okay. Okay, but do we have a day? Is the question. Um, yes, Cor Corganite is currently in the possession of the dragon. How much time? Yeah, this is what I mean, time? guys. Like, <laughs> how long are we going to wait? That's why I'm asking. So. Um, and maybe I don't people... think one healing infusion is going to make a difference here or there. Yeah, mm. fucking hell. We have healing I'll... potions, I'll... and we should only use those when people are about to uh, croak. Yes. I was just trying to be helpful. We don't need no. them. No. Um, also, we don't know whether there are people actually watching our current conversations um, because they have been doing so in the past. So I'm maybe go out on a limb and say that I think we're being watched right now. So let's get this done uh, with as quickly as possible so they don't get time to plan and react to it. I mean, we are on Twitch. Your uh, potion uh, potion of gaseous form is D4 plus four turns. So at least five, at least five turns and maybe as many as eight. Oh, well, we've, I've got six vials and I've got three gaseous form potions, so... Okay. So that means that we can... Uh... Is there any other useful potions on the elven market while I was there? No, there's none. None on the elven market at the moment. No, okay. I rolled, I rolled a one for potion availability, which means there's none. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, D4 yeah, minus yeah. one, so. Well, um, this is what we have. Pardon? This is all we've got. Yeah, yeah that's all we've got. got. Haven't we got like a scroll of resurrection and stuff? Yeah, there are some scrolls in there in the possession of Tin. And I don't think he ever used them. I uh, no, I've never used any of our scrolls. You probably can't use them. That'll probably is it like casting? No, he can. It doesn't count as casting the spell. No, he can. I don't think I have any healing uh, scrolls though. I don't know. I don't know what scrolls you've got. I know we've got a resurrection scroll. I don't. Uh, I could say out of character. Uh, I do. I don't have any healing scrolls at all. No. No, the scrolls you got what from. What kind Ofan, of scrolls right? do you have, though? They're. Uh, like, let me look over my list, but they're pretty basic. They're they're not going to be very useful in this scenario. They, they, they might be. We never know. One moment, please. Boop boop boop. Ba -doo -doo -doo. You're doing the elevator music while we wait. What? Yeah, that's 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 oh. actually that is. What... <laughs> I do actually have that. Don't forget. <laughs> oh, oh no no no! Hurry up! Let <laughs> me get that out. I will do it, man. I will. 
Uh, I actually have a list of those scrolls somewhere here, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through looking. Uh, I have a yeah. cure... F I have a create food and water to spill magic. Cure oh, I actually do have a uh, cure serious wounds. I do have cure serious wounds. Yeah, I, I stand corrected. Protection from evil, 10, 10 foot radius. Slow poison and hold person. Um, those are the ones I have. Any availability on scrolls then, DM? Uh, possibly, yes. Just a minute, please. I'm just checking if there's anything else there. No. Okay, scrolls. Uh, okay, what are you looking for? Um, well, I'm assuming you can only cast priest scrolls, so... And if you go along those lines. Well, tell me specifically what you're looking for in our offering. Healing ones, if we can. So, like what? Cure light wounds? Yeah. Cure light wounds, cure serious, heal. Heal. Yeah. Okay. And it gets poison, maybe. I will yeah, start poison. with heal, okay? 25% chance of there being heal available. Yes, there is a heal <laughs> scroll available, and it will cost you 3,000 ceramic pieces. Okay, I hand one. over the money. Okay, not for cheap, I, please. I, I thought you said I've got unlimited money now. You don't have yeah, unlimited you, money. But you, how but much you do I have at the Minfus estate? Just make a note of how much you're spending, please. Okay, uh, I've not, I've knocked three thousand off. Yep. You might want to okay. do a ten percent discount. I mean. Oh yeah, I'll do my bargaining thing. Yeah. Thank you. Uh. uh yeah. Pass. Okay, nice. So uh, that's that only 2700. Yeah. And you said something about poison? Yeah. Uh, like against no poison, right? Protection of the way that they're Neutralized poison, that's fourth yeah. level. Okay, there's a chance for one of those to be available, and it's 50%. Lucky! Okay, so that's going to be uh, with your discount another 1800. 1800. Write these down, uh, Tin. Wait, what am I writing down? I got heal. What else do I have? Are we buying things? Neutralized poison. They're just grabbing some scrolls from the market. Neutralized ah. poison, yep. Um, um, any other heal spells that we want? Yeah, just the, 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 the extra healing, that kind of stuff. You know, what do you call yeah. them? Yeah. The, the, anything yeah. healing. Yeah. So right cure now serious. I have heal, cure serious, neutralized poison, and slow poison that are actually going to be useful. Yeah. Okay, there's cure, cure serious scrolls on the market. Available and there are. Uh, what's that? Two? There's one available. One available. Uh, yeah. One cure serious, and that will cost you uh, 810 ceramics. Uh, that's that with the discount, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's 900 normally. 810, okay. Um, yeah, we'll keep going down the list. Keep looking for How more many cure serious did you get? One? Yeah, and one, finally, one. Cure, li yep. cure light. There's 80% chance of this. Yep. And there are four different uh, cure light spell orbs available. Um, How much uh, for that so, so normally twelve hundred, take away one hundred and twenty, so one thousand and eighty. Take away one thousand and eighty. Okay, any offensive spells for a priest? Uh, no, that's your uh, that's your spells at those levels cleared out. Okay, good. Good. Right. Don't worry, guys. We've still got millions. Look, <laughs> for, for 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 offensive, we uh, even touch we have ra, yeah. we have tick tick, and we have <laughs> you just you just un uncork ra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we've got ra on tap. <laughs> yeah. Um, I could do that for any of the characters that can't stealth. Tick tick can stealth, can he? No. Okay, so we'll bottle. He just runs at runs at things and bites them. We'll do a bottled bug as well when we get inside. <clears throat> Can you put me and Tick Tick together so that when we both reform, we're like half of each other? So I've got like, you know, like some extra legs, and he's got like, like in the fly. Like, yeah. But, but, I was gonna say when you come out, like you you might look like at the Scorpion King. Yeah, get like, really Cronenberg with it. 
Yes, but oh, yeah. This is not some kind of Star Trek transporter accident. <laughs> this is <laughs> beam me uh, up. flux phenomenon. <laughs> Wait, let's let's shake the bottle and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible I idea. Happy, I won't be happy until we get Brundle Raw. <laughs> Um, okay, right. So, so I, think um, set, yeah. I think you're set, yes. So, uh, to the moon tiers then? Yes. Sure. This is our Ocean's 8, guys. Have you ever seen that movie? No? Just me? No. It's not a very famous movie in Athens, I guess. <laughs> or, or at all. <laughs> The back streets around the brickyards are dark. Neither Raoul nor Guthe has risen at this time. Shadows fill the refuse littered alley. Halfway down the alley, a darker pool of ebony within the shadow itself shows where the hole in the street lies, the cobbles tilted down into an inky blackness. Cautiously, your group approaches the edge of, uh, of the hole, the largest of the moon tiers, and you can see there's actually about three or four of them. Uh, and they are indeed, uh, indeed kind of moon-shaped. And exactly at that moment, as you're looking down over the edge into the darkness, Guthe rises above the city wall and floods the alleyway with pale green-gold light. It casts the moon tears into even starker relief against the pale cobbles there, just black smudges of nothingness, the way down into Undertear. You guys descending by rope, just leaping into the void. How do you, how do you wish to proceed? I will pull out a rope and I will just whisper to it, and it will unveil itself. Well, Ra's got sniffing. her boots, right? So I'll probably just take a hike on her back. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, and this this rope is just... Oh, so we're not bottled? No, not, oh, yet. not yet. No, not when we get close. Uh, this rope is literally <laughs> just floating in the air like a pole. It's not even attached to anything. And then I, I, I slide down. How far down is it? Let's hope but it's not more than 60 foot. <laughs> You find that it is 30 feet down below street level where you land upon what is essentially the top of a heavily impacted sand dune where sand has sifted in through the moon tears over the years and formed a great mound directly beneath. Down to one side by the pale moonlight of Guthe streaming in, the slope gives way eventually to what you think is a huge cavern that must lie under the edge of the ziggurat and the arena and you can dimly make out what appear to be great columns. You've been at the other end of this forest of columns before. Um, you know somewhere on the far side of these great ancient supports lies the Crimson Shrine. Oh, yeah. I remember but now. But here you're at the, uh, the opposite end hmm. of it. All around you, you can see the toppled remnants of former buildings built upon by successive generations, many of them little more than squished facades, and here an edge of a roof protruding from layers of mashed up masonry like a, a cake that someone has sat on. And yet, protruding out of one of these wadges of crushed ancient tear is the unmistakable open mouth of a sewer. Some kind of dried moss hangs from its lip and wafts ever so gently in the moonlight. But beyond the dark aperture of the sewer disappears into the crushed mass of edifices beneath the city above. This you all take in, Matthias, within a moment or two. The rest of you can see him down below, just kind of clinging to uh, the rope and looking around. Is it anyone safe? Else, anyone? Sorry, yeah, go ahead. Um, I climb off. I get off the rope once I see the floor. Yeah. Yes, come down. All right, I'll, I'll hop down onto the sand dune next to him. Okay, you land slightly more bulkier than uh, Matthias, who sends sand spilling in all directions. Be on guard. 
Yes. I'll wait for the rest to come down, and then I'll whisper to the rope again, and it'll curl up, and I'll place it on my hip. I'll do an observation check. Yeah, please go ahead and make me roll. I will do a listen check if I can. Get my character sheet out. <laughs> uh, likewise, Matthias, make me a, make me a hear noise. I will do a detect noise, which I've recently put points in, and I still failed. <laughs> You can hear the sound of your companions huffing and puffing as they clamber down the rope. Ooh, uh, nice. Oh, just cool. Good mm -hmm. roll. Yes. Um, yeah, you do hear the sound of something moving around uh, in the darkness below you. Uh, you. You hear the unmistakable patter of a clawed quadruped moving around the base of the large sand dune, <laughs> snuffling and sniffing. Then it do I recognize what it might be? Yeah. Uh, just let oh, me have a, a look at your... Let me see your numbers, where are your numbers? Um, okay, yeah, make me a survival check, please. Uh, oh, uh, yes, which again, one? Boulder Fields or Sandy Wastes? Uh, Boulder Fields, please. Actually, it's, it, it lives in both, so... It um... doesn't matter, really, because they're both the same score. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> what you get? A 20. It's a Natural auto, 20. Auto fail. Yeah, it's a kank. Sure, it's a kank. Someone's got a kank loose down It's here. a horse. What's a horse? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm sure it's <laughs> one of this them. one. <laughs> no. um, so I before too miss... long, your group is gathered together on the on the. I, uh, I on the point kind of out you... that that I noticed this snuffling thing though. I I I, I start my heightened senses and detect Chilmix, uh Mark. There. Can I see it in the dark? With night vision. Night vision? In revision. That's a good Darkness. question. Just just let me have a look, please. Go away over markets, I don't need you. Uh, no, you can't. I can't. Which see it. actually you kinda of think you should be able to. Does my thighs have observation? I do. Maybe an observation roll, please. Mm -mm -mm. Clicked it. Nope, failed. We're rolling no. so well. Guys, it's a, get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. That's what I say. Vortex making multiple rolls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Um, so, no, uh, whatever it is is no longer to be heard or to be seen. And you strain your eyes and ears down into the darkness around you, but uh, can, can look at nothing. Um, Guthe passes behind a nearby building, one of the towers cresting the city wall, and shadow briefly engulfs you. Huh. Are you going to clamber into the sewer? What no kind of question saying, is that? No one's saying yes. Of yeah. course we're going in the sewer. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're going into the into the shit stream. Let's Did you know who the, we are? If there's Who's no, that? if there's yeah, no other on. access, like if there's no ascent to it, like if it's just a kind of hovering above. Yeah, imagine a kind of a mash of of, of collapsed buildings, and the sewer part is kind of sticking out. So it's about fifteen feet above um, the top level of the dune. Also, so what I'll do is I'll do grab we... one end of the rope and I'll jump into the sewer opening and then uh, hold the rope so that people can climb up. Okay. Okay. Because I was going to ask when when do we want to gasify? The when we go into the tower, not, not earlier. Okay. Close. okay. Yeah, when we get close. Cool. We don't need to gasify okay. here in the sewers. We need to be there in the in the tower. Yeah. Got it. Tick tick. You yes. um leap, land nimbly at the edge of the sewer, and then back slightly into it. Um, Obviously, keeping an eye out for any dangers yep. inside. Or yep. Poop. Behind you, over your shoulder, there's nothing but sandy darkness. This okay. thing hasn't carried water or um, it, it, other fluids in quite some time, and whatever was in here has long since desiccated. And it's the, the the silt that lines the bottom of the sewer is no different to the kind of gunk you'd find anywhere else lining the streets of uh, of Tyr. Okay. T -t -t um, you however, it's a you magical rope. <laughs> you were. Uh, um, your size, however, tactic means you have to quite literally crouch down bug fashion. Uh, in fact, Bengal Bangal is the only one who can stand erect here. The rest of you have to hunch over, um, or indeed, uh, tactic in your case, crawl. My favorite sixes. position. I'll just uh, make myself smaller. I still have Lapium. access no to making erect. myself. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm Actually, halfling. No, uh, uh, Lodo, you're small as well. So um, Lodo as well. Okay, good. So what about okay. Ra? Ra, will, Ra, like you, will have to crawl on our hands and knees. Okay. All um, right. Uh, and Matthias kind of would have to, has to bend double. 
Okay. Well, I'll I'll do I'll do my best. I'll make I sure that I crawl over. I crawl with the, my lower arms, but I keep my upper arms as upper arms. Uh, ready ready to uh, fight if I need All to. Right. Yeah. Right. So looking more like a bug than you ever have before. Quite literally flat against the ground, your abdomen quivering behind you. Uh, Tick Tick leads the way into the sewer, I suppose, simply by virtue of having, <laughs> having been the first one. It's really quite horrifying, actually, if you think about it. <laughs> I'm making that face, too. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Lodo, uh, your heightened senses and psionic awareness pick it up shortly before Tick Tick does. Um, there is something snuffling ahead in the darkness of the sewer. Oh, you hear the scratch of claws. You hear inhaled, uh, inhaled breath, and uh, and what not. There's a creature ahead of us, claws, sniffing us. Just a dog. After you, <laughs> Dick, Dick, oh, you no, can make me another ob the, another observation yeah. check. Now this has been pointed out to you. You're the scout. All right, all right, all right. I scouted. I told you what's there. Now go get. Uh, I failed. You found okay. You can't hear anything at all. Who's at the back? I'd be more at the back. <laughs> Who's at the back? Oh, I think it's raw crawling. Probably yeah. Okay, She's and about to um, get something biting her butt. <laughs> yes, Rod doesn't even have observation, so she doesn't even get a roll. Uh okay. Um, Do I get another roll? Nope. You're not at the front or the back. Um just let me roll D ten. One or two means the party is surprised. One! Ho, 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 ho! Um, okay. Whatever coordination they're using, it goes off flawlessly as the two creatures surge out of the darkness from front and back towards you. Uh, Tick Tick, you have a moment of utter horror as you realize you're trapped face to face in the tunnel with a Tembo, a squat bulldog sized creature quadrupedal, large flanking uh, ears, stirring bug-like eyes, and a great snarling jaw. It <laughs> rushes down the tunnel straight towards you. Jaws and front claws are open and wide. Uh, Ra, the one that comes at you from behind, you didn't even get any warning. I'm not able to see it and unable to hear it. Uh, this, we'll go with Tick Tick first. Bite your uh, bum. Yeah, okay. Um, Tick Tick, this thing has an, uh, not an, an immense attack bonus. Uh, however, your armor class is currently 16. Can't use decks, can't use shields, braces, makes it 22. Tw armor class is 25. Uh, so it does need 19s to hit you. One, two. Three. Um, you just manage to scuttle backwards through the tunnel, uh, tick tick, and as the thing's claws scratch at nothing but empty stone and its jaws snap closed just in front of your face. Uh, Ra, likewise, from behind, uh, the squat form of the Tembo comes rushing toward you. Uh, and when life comes to bite you in the ass. <laughs> Likewise, three bites in your direction. Uh, your AC, let's see, what have we got here? 18. Uh, yours stays the same. 24. So, natural 20 to hit you. One, two, three. No, no, no. Okay, likewise, even though you can't see it, you're able to kind of wriggle sideways against the uh, against the tunnel wall, Ra, and uh, the horrible... Uh, dog-like creature fails to sink its jaws into any of your fleshy hind parts. Um, Ra and Tick Tick can make initiative rolls. Uh, anyone else who wants to contribute can, but don't forget that there is a half-giant and a Kreen um, in the way. Question. Um, would yeah. I be able to use Bloodletter in this uh, No. Time? No. Small, weapon, small weapons only. Am I able to take a defensive position, Mark, or is that outside the realms of my abilities right now? Uh, yeah, sure, you can take a defensive position, but you're kind of... Uh, Halfling with a quarterstaff right now? Group. Sure, if you're halfling with a quarterstaff, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay, um, so let's have an issue from... Uh, I'm just going to go quickly to, to Tick Tick and Ra. Tick Tick. 
hold on. Instead of. Ryan, what'd you get? Seven. Nevin, and what about Tick Tick? Fifteen. Fifteen, good job. Uh, does anyone else want in? I have a nine. <laughs> I have a six. Uh, let me be wrong. Wait, that six doesn't make Lodo, sense. Six from Lodo, a nine from Tin. Um, I got Bingle an eight. Bangle, an eight from Bingle Bangle. Five. Matthias, anything? Or you, you're a five, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm just going to roll these uh, d20 here because it's quicker. Uh, tick, tick, the one in front of you, the, the timbers go on a two, by the way. The one in front of you, again, leaps forward, snapping savagely, trying to, to bite two, a ten, and a ten. No, it can't even get its jaws to close through your thick carapace. Uh, there is a, a kind of a mad anger in its eyes, and from behind, three, two, and a five. Likewise, Ra, this is terrible, terrible rolls. Uh, the... <laughs> The you temper are failing to get through it. any of your... Well, she's in Braxat plate armor, and you're a freaking queen. So, yeah, the tiny little teeth are gnawing heroically away, <laughs> but they just, they just, they just can't get through. Uh, I, 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 Matthias. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Matthias. Um, I try to... Uh, obviously, I know we're in a tunnel and it's tight. I try to nimbly, acrobatically, some way, try and get the flank on one of them. There's get no past. way you're getting past your, the queen or the half-giant. I can't get past either of them. No, they're enormous. I have a wide okay. butt, man. Uh, His butt I, is huge. It I is. Throw... It's four feet long. <laughs> I will just fire my blowgun then. <laughs> Un unpoisoned. Unpoisoned. Yeah. I have precise Just, just in case you might hit me. I yeah. have precise <laughs> no, I, I can't. It's enormous. enormous I can't ass. hit you. Yeah, I can't uh, hit them. The Tembos are only armor class 16. Okay. Two hits. Uh, take it. They're small. Well, they're medium. Numbers. But yeah. Uh, eighteen damage. Eighteen damage. Okay. The uh, the darts fly past you, uh, tick tick, and thud, thud, into uh, into the temple in front. Um, what did you say? Eighteen. Eighteen damage. Yeah. Okay, uh, there's a surprisingly large amount of blood comes pouring out of the Tembo's shoulder. Uh, you think the dart has punctured it in some probable vital organ or artery. It slumps sideways, briefly shakes its head, blood spatters from its mouth. Uh, a solid shot, and you get the impression you've injured it quite badly. Uh, anything from Lodo? Um, <clears throat> Lodo um, transforms himself into Shadow. Okay, nice. Fade from sight. Uh, Ra, at the back. And I succeed. Yes. Just give it a cuddle. Hi. Who's a good boy? Just a quick question. What is better for me to use? Uh, the brand of Nicholas or a Githka? You can't use either of those because they're too big. Uh, the brand of Nicholas is a bastard sword and the Githka is almost as, is, is the same size as your Latulis. You need like a dagger or a short sword. Well, I can only punch them. <laughs> you don't have any small <laughs> weapons. Give, give it a bear hug. Um. Um. I'm gonna punch him then. Uh, okay. That's um, all I can Ra do. That your your attack uh, is at minus four as well because it's within your it's outside of your normal um, oh, line fighting range. Okay. Freezer, How many freezer, do I get? Uh, Just one punch or? Uh, you can you can punch with both fists if you want. I think uh, you should. There are, Treat their ACs as 20 with the... Uh, with fart the in its face. Minus... Uh, what is it minus again? Sorry? Four, but I'll just factor that in. You get one more attack. I think. Um, I, I use my move those that are, I have those left. Are just, to... Those are just damage rolls, though. Can I get to hit rolls? Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll hit. I don't mean to doubt your abilities. You know, I, I totally validate your ability just... to punch things. Is it just CMB? Is that it? Uh, yeah, roll, roll CMB. That'll get you the same result. Yes, it will. Sorry, I don't have a, an offhand one. <laughs> okay, so you slap the living shit out of the <laughs> tempo in front of you. Just punch, punch, punch. The thing squivers and stops moving. <laughs> I'm just, I like to think she's not even like paying attention. She's just crawling and the, just the weight of her on the, the creature as she's pushing her hands down. It's just, <laughs> 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 it's there. 
uh, Get out of my said, way. You want you wanted to you just, move like, and shadow from She's like, is that a bug? Just a smack, smack, smack. And it's gone now. My hands all sticky. Yeah, <laughs> Stop trying to bite me. Carl. Yeah, sorry. I, I was going to use my move to go through uh, through uh, tick tick. Two tick uh, out to the front part on the uh, and beyond yeah. the temple on the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got it. Right. Anything from Bingle Bangle? Um. I mean, am I able, like, in range to attack it uh, with a sword, probably? Uh, no, but you could shoot a crossbow over Tic Tic's shoulder. Um, yeah, I'll do that then. Why not? Um, then. Just with no, the roll normal roll bolts. No, don't jinx me. <laughs> well, I've got precise shot. I can't miss. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. Did it roll? It hasn't rolled here. Oh. My browser's being weird. Sorry. I'll roll for you. Okay, thank you. A 13. That's uh, going to be easily a hit. Mm hmm. And it's D8 plus something. Yeah, it had. Ooh, four. Let me. Where, where's your crossbow? Yeah, four, seven, that's seven damage. It has seven left. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, nice. Um, the crossbow ball just flies basically between your two rear legs and thook, takes a small tembo right in the middle of its forehead. It gives us a, uh, a quiet grunt and drops. Yeah, excuse me. Don't, don't mind me here. So get this. Those things drain levels if they bite you. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, thanks for letting us know. <laughs> And then finally, toward the end of the round, Tin and uh, and Tic Tic may take action should you so desire. They're both dead. Yeah, they're both dead. So uh, what's that, what else is there to do? Can <laughs> I, mean, I optimize there... my armor? <laughs> I, I see if there's any more. You see no sign of there being any others. The oh. tunnel ahead seems safe, seems quiet. Yeah, okay, so we, we did a yeah, good so, well, bloody it, it job. It seemed safe and quiet to me five seconds ago, but then all of a sudden big snarling honking monsters came out of the shadows, so maybe, maybe yeah, I should well, do an something, observation Something roll. Something failed, dice roll, something, something. <laughs> My armor is optimized twice. <laughs> Double optimized armor, ooh. But much good, I... but okay. Have they got anything tick, tick, to No, harm? you failed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. He's just like the worst person to have at the front. Is Can I, I make an observation? No, I have no wrong. idea. Let's go. <laughs> at, at this point, with the lack like of going from... <laughs> with the lack of Tick Tick being able yeah. to find Put himself, the blind giant in charge. Can I start? Can I do an observation check? Please go ahead. Oh my god. Well, I'm just glad it's that still I didn't good. lose it another level. Matter. Absolute silence ahead, Constantine. Okay. You are certain the, the, the hunting tembo, they must have come in here psionically or magically or something. There's no way they can have gotten past you. But There's you nothing, nothing ahead, ahead for right now. Nothing behind. No, let's, exactly. Let's just push can on. I, can I harvest these for like, any sort of like poison or any level drain poison? Uh, there's <clears> no <throat> level draining poison and you don't have animal handling. I do. Animal law. Did you add it? Right. I thought I um, I got that recently. I haven't got it written down here. Because we've Animal got rid of... Um, um, you, you told us to add... Um, oh, yeah, I haven't... I lost the mastery, yet. didn't we? So Yeah, yeah but those are weapon proficiencies, not non-weapon. I turned my weapon and non-weapons into the things like that. Okay, well, if, you, if you've taken it, then uh, then you can actually absolutely use it. Yeah, but no, got, they've done it. There's no level draining poison. It's a it's a, no. a magical characteristic. Was it animal handling that I should have taken for the for the poison? Uh, it's animal animal law for harvesting. Oh, okay, okay, so I need to change that to animal law then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you can't harvest, I have animal handling, animal law, and okay. all the goodies to do that. Animal law. Um. I think it's next level. I get another weapon proficiency in it, or, or non weapon proficiency. I can't remember. Been so long since uh, I've leveled since I've got one. Uh, no, you'll need to level uh, a few more times. Oh, really? You need to make level sixteen in both classes. Oh, well, maybe I didn't add the last one then. Oh, no matter. Carry on. Okay. So, tick tick. You yes. resume your scuttling through the tunnel. Yes. And before long, you can see where there is a great breach in the upper area of the sewer 
and littering the sewer below the hole are several p smooth obsidian bricks. Um, okay, so what I want Looking to do... Looking up, you can... Yes, sorry, go ahead. Before we go all the way, where did those Tembo tracks come from, and um, mm. do they... Do they go as far as so where we are now or the, the temp the tempo tracks appear about another 50 feet down the tunnel just simply appear in midair appear in uh, out of nowhere as it were something knows we're here i point is out. that normal for these creatures though or, tin do you know about these creatures do i know about these creatures i hmm. fought one before i don't think i know about but, these creatures is it sandy, sandy waste mark is it uh yep sandy give me a roll for that i've got animal law actually it's okay, sort of nice. Way. Yeah, okay. So, Matthias, uh, you know that Tembo um, have the ability to move psionically in shadow forms and exoplasmic forms. They can effectively phase through solid matter. Oh, this is normal for them. Oh, okay. They can travel like this. But I'm not dismissing what you're saying. Just keep it in mind. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I, I look up at the hole. Okay, through it you can see what must be the tunnel. Smooth, obsidian lined, heading transverse and off in the direction of the Golden Tower. The sand that filled it has spilled out here into the sewer and sifted down through the bricks into other parts of Undertier. And only a kind of thick carpet of it now lines the bottom of the sewer, here and there with obsidian bricks embedded in the, uh, in the fallen sand. Looking up, you just see shiny darkness heading in the direction of the tower. I uh, look at my companions. Maybe someone else take the lead now. Tin, Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Oh, or the dwarf. What was that, Matthias? I see. Your eyes are better than Tick Ticks. Well, that's rude, but yeah, I could, I could lead. This is your expertise, is it not? Yeah, pretty much. But I just assumed you wanted uh, Tick Tick or someone else doing it. And I'll start, uh, I guess, leading on. Okay. So in your ensmalled form then, Constantine, you hoist yourself up into the obsidian tunnel. The stone, the glassy stone, is completely cold. And for a moment you have a Shuddering recollection of the stolen life energies Kalak was funneling through this, leached from the people of his city, leached from you and your companions. But of course the Sorcerer King is gone. And nothing but memories await you in the Golden Tower. Do I see anything uh, kind of peering down or hearing anything in this... Uh... Just silence and darkness. Then I'll start helping anybody who needs it up. Okay. Before long, you are gathered together in the Obsidian Tunnel. And so with Tin at your head, your small group inches its way into the darkness. <laughs> Onward through the tunnel, you crawl. Until at last, Tin... Detected coming to an end up ahead. There's a short shaft, and looking up, you can see the bottom side of what is clearly an iron trapdoor. Shut. Lodo uh, <clears throat> concentrates. And Lodo, you perceive powerful abjuration magic on the trapdoor. There's protected magics on the trapdoor. Any psionics? You don't see any psionics on it, no. Magic. Indeed. How big is that trapdoor? Uh. What the book? I'm gonna say. 10 feet across, but I will check. Okay. 
Five feet across. Okay, five feet across. And it's made of what? Iron. Iron. What, uh, you say abjuration. What spells could be an abjuration? Does anyone know? Well, those are protective spells, so they're probably trap spells. If you touch it, you, you, it, it burns you or something like that, or a, a nasty other spell that uh, gets triggered. Basically, it's protective magics. It's stuff to protect us from actually uh, going through this gate. Okay, well, how do we get past this? Something I'm trying to figure out, see whether I can figure it out. Do or do not. How much does this thing weigh? This trapdoor? Uh, so, five feet question. across, it's gonna be like, I don't know, uh, let's say 200 pounds. 200 pounds? Yeah. Can I have a listen out, see if I can hear anything beyond it? Yeah, sure. Uh, why don't you give me a detect noise roll, please? Oh, I just rolled over. And? Was it a pass? Or I wasn't yes, it's a pass. It is yes. a pass, okay. Yeah, um... Yes, okay, wow. So you hear a weird hissing voice. It appears to be uh, speaking. He's too foolish. Too hungry. Let him continue as he does. The a weird coughing noise in response. Uh, you realize it's a second voice replying. Not on. He is impatient. Really? He gamble on the Avangian and lost. <sighs> we should kill him. The first voice speaks. <sighs> Quiet. Quiet. Come. I will show you what I have in mind. This way. You don't hear anything after that. Pass on that information. See what okay. the rest of the group make of it. Who okay. have they got? They got Portek again. <laughs> Just repeatedly being captured over and over again off screen by NPCs all campaign long. So? I right, pass that information on. Does anyone have any comments? Do I recognize that any of the voices are like Vemet or... No, you don't recognize them at all. Vemet's well, one, Yeah, one's a, one a kind of... One a weird hissy voice and... Uh, okay, Shaga. The other, uh, some kind of... Uh, yeah, it sounded like somebody um, uh, choking on a large amount of molasses, really, if truth be told. So, what are you guys doing? Sitting, staring at the uh, the trapdoor? Um, I'm waiting for a bird. your thumbs, now. scratching your bum. Yeah, all, all of the above. In that order. Um, I think I have myself passed, but that's about it. Wait, I might have another option. 
I can try to get one of you past. What so is form, is yeah. it a question of, of sneaking or? No, it's a trap gate thing. Is it a grate? No, it's a it's a, a, a steel uh, trap door, an iron trap door. Sorry, blocking off the top of the tunnel, which on which um, Lodo has detected magical protections, and now everybody's suddenly too frightened to touch it. Or oh, strange that. Well, you said <laughs> powerful. So yeah. Big, yeah, I did say powerful. Big babies that you are. I touch it. No, I'm kidding. I'm 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 really kidding. Mm -hmm. Too late. No. Well, I'll just carry on doing some light bookkeeping here then, shall I, while you guys make your fucking minds up about what you want to do. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just at the back, like, when am I being turned into gas? <laughs> <laughs> did I did I mishear that? What? <laughs> um, Lodo is briefly going to concentrate himself <clears throat> and he's going to um, make a roll. Let's first do that. Roll, roll, roll your dice quickly across the screen. There we go, there we go, Merrily. Yep, that's fine. It was almost, almost 17. <clears throat> he is going to phase out the door. Okay. Nice. Just run this by me quickly. This is the, what What power is this? The phase object. So I'll briefly read the spell with this power. Psyonosis can extend her phasing powers to an object. A boulder blocking a tunnel can be faced in order to allow passage. An enemy sword can be rendered harmless, or a building can be forced to collapse by reducing its support to an insubstantial form. Okay, so one PSP for 10 pounds, so that's uh, 20 of those, so 20 PSPs. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he gets, she gets, uh, uh, he, he gets, he gets a discount. He gets See. a discount, yes he does. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. He gets a okay, cool, give me a roll. Uh, awesome, awesome power to use. Uh, and the power, co the, uh, the power score is 15. Yeah, and he passed it. I rolled a 10. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, the steel, uh, the, the iron door, trap door, phases from existence, becoming ectoplasmic, translucent, and then vanishing, at which point the enormous stone block that was sitting on top of it falls into the tunnel. Um, can I have saving throws against breath weapon, please? Shall we say from... Uh, Lodo and from Constantin. Constantin, because you're at the front, and Lodo, because you were, I don't know, frowning at the at the at the trapdoor with pants shitting intensity. Breath weapon saving throws, please. Sorry. Mm. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. That's a fail for me. Belt soft trousers. Uh, that's a pass oh, for me. Like that's a pass. Hey, you both pass. Okay, great. I do it. Oh. Um, Yep, it's, I have to get over the number. Uh, you both throw yourself rapidly to one side, 15, only taking a light bruising damage of seven points each. Ow. Ow. Two and... 70... What did I say? Seven, so... 76. Okay, right. Um... The block comes to a, a rather abrupt halt, and uh, dust <laughs> plumes down the length of the passageway. Um, there is, however, just enough gap for you to crawl over the top of the block and up into the chamber, should you so desire. Um, obviously still listening, does that seem to have disturbed the voices? or I know they left, but... Okay, so Matthias, you can put a hand up and uh, cock your head as you make me a listen roll, please. I'll do a detect noise, and do you want an observation? Detect uh, noise is a foul. Detect noise is a fail, so yes. Now please make me an observation check. It's like a little foul safe that I passed. Yeah, you passed that one. Okay. I critically passed it. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, you actually hear voices low rumbling sound of half giants talking to each other um with some degree of consternation they've almost certainly heard that you need a better map <coughs> okay so what do you do um can i see this said uh giant 
Um, so uh, at the moment Mind, you're still down in the tunnel. You're, you're still in the tunnel listening. So to to see what's going on, you need to clamber up onto the block and up through the trap door into uh, into whatever chamber is above. Can I hide in shadows and do that? And do that. Yeah, make me a hide in shadows roll, please. Mm -mm. Yes. Can we also take actions, or is that? No, only Lee, I'm afraid. He's the only one who paid the action bonus this session. Let's see if we can just sit there and look. Um, yeah, go ahead. Make me initiative rolls, actually, just to put some kind of order into this. Um... Mm -hmm. Tick Tick is realizing that he's very useless in this adventure. <laughs> oh, that's going to change real. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say, I feel the same way, but after what he just said, uh, you know, I'm prepared to... Live in a couple of initiative accounts, it's all going to go to shit. So, um, yeah. So much for the stealth. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, okay, so um, let me just take some... Um, I've lost my pen. The adventure must stop. I better really have my dignity. I prepared my orifice for what's about to come. Okay, uh, 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 Bingle Bangle, initiative, please, from you, was a... Oh, okay. Why are you going to have to? I thought, you were, I thought you were kidding. Oh, no, 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 no. It's <laughs> fine. Um. <coughs> oh. Okay. What that? Ten. That's a ten. Lodo. One. Are we initi initiativizing? If you yeah. are. Tick tick. Oh. I'll come back to you, Matthias. I rolled an eight, but I don't know if you needed me as I uh, already acted. That's fine. Um. Ra. I'm fourteen. A nine. <laughs> Ra nine. Ten. Seven. Okay, uh, half the giants. Nine. Okay, Lodo. Then at the beginning of the round, uh, this is just a moment after the, uh, the 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 stone block has fallen into the tunnel. The dust has settled. Matthias has held his hand up briefly, cocked his ears, and uh, to have a listen. Mark, quick technical question. Um, yes. I have swift assault, which means my uh, natural attack should be reduced by three points, correct? So it should be at a base of three, yeah. Yes, but it's for some reason it's been altered to th six in this, so I should uh, actually uh, be on an 11. Uh, okay, yeah, so so change that and uh, I'll put you on an 11. Yeah, I went around changing a bunch of stuff and I may have changed a couple of things wrong. So. <laughs> Falsely not. That's life. That's what all the people say. God, you can do that. I'm doing it my way, man. I'm doing it my way. Okay, so yeah, Lodo. That's that's Lodo. what's that's what's just happened. Okay, and Lodo changes into shadow form. That's his his action. That's your action this round. Is and then and, and and then he moves out and out in uh, out through the hole. Out through the hole. Okay. Now I did a map for this like three sessions ago, but these guys didn't go there. Uh, but I th think it's this one. Hold on. Are you recycling maps from other encounters? <laughs> no, I mean, I, 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 I expected you to go here a few weeks ago, but you're a fucking asshole, so you didn't, so... Fair enough. <laughs> Where is it? I, I, I hear the echoes of the word, goo, goo, goo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Uh, okay, so... Um, right, uh, I'm, I'll reveal the opening area because that should all be black to you, that screen. It's all black, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, so... This is how how Ra perceives the world. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Ew. Do, okay, I, do, so, I, um... do, I, do I remember this room? No, I've been I've been on the other side. Never mind. Yeah. So um. Still can't see it. There should be a. a, a, a yeah, if you, uh, if, yeah, yeah there should be a room that you can see. Yeah. So um, Carl, if you pull your. Uh, <coughs> Pull a token onto there. Do you have a token for this guy? Yep. Okay. Uh, not really, but I'll just do a Portek token, yeah? Because he's also a dwarf. Yeah, use Portek, that's fine. Oh, and just drag it onto... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I'm just moving on. myself there for now. Yeah, that's fine. You guys can put your tokens on here if you want. One square is five foot. Um, but we'll just do, if, if you put yourself up in this kind of... This reddish space over here, we'll assume that's... Uh... Yeah, good, 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 good. <clears throat> not in the room! You're not there yet! Ruining everything. Put yourselves on the red space outside to show you're in the tunnel.
Oh, and I'll make Ra big as well, actually. Okay, I'm gonna go to that side of the room, presuming there's nothing in the room. Yeah, okay, so, uh, real quick on that. <coughs> um, you emerge up in, uh, in shadow form into the chamber above and see a, uh, a simple, would appear to have been some kind of vault, you think, in the past. Um, shelves and coffers that would have held a ransom, king's ransom, quite literally. There's broken urns and uh, discarded pottery and empty containers all over the floor. No magic, nothing, huh? Um, you detect uh, abjuration magics on the stone block, um, looking back down into the tunnel below, but whatever's happened uh, has not have not triggered it. And on the uh, on the actual uh, trapdoor itself, um, of course, but that's uh, that's not going ectoplasmic. Okay, and there's no no okay. none, none on this this door here, eh? Nothing there. Nothing on that door now. Okay, good. I, I wish whisper you, them you, to come. <clears throat> yes, you can actually hear voices now coming from the other side of the door. Low rumbling of half giants. Uh, you can hear. Um, I don't want to go in there. We have to. We heard noise. I t you go, I, or I tell Torban. Okay, right. Um, Tin. I will uh, enter the uh, the room. I'll step to the other side, um, and uh, if possible, uh, resort resume my full size and uh, take yep. my Githka out. Okay, good. Then you clamber up the tunnel, resume your size, and hold the Githka in slightly trembling hands. Matthias. Um, yeah, I will climb up, obviously, and continue and be hidden in shadows. Okay. All right. Ra, uh, and the other half giants, actually. <coughs> How appropriate. I would uh, like to optimize my armor, if I can. <laughs> yes, of course. Um... Am I so? I'm still in t the tunnel currently. Yes, you are currently still in the tunnel. Yes. I should probably get out, but I don't want to ruin the stealth. <laughs> but I'm useless if I'm in the tunnel. Yeah, I think stealth has been somewhat ruined by the loud um, thudding of the stone block. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna enter the room. I where's my? I don't know where my cat. My thing is. I enter the room. How are you fitting okay. through that tiny, tiny little pipe? <laughs> she can, uh, she can squeeze through. She just oh, kind of okay. holds it, holds her breath, basically. <laughs> okay. Um, at the same time, um, this side door flies open. The same time as Ra comes clambering up, uh, and let's just. <clears throat> Okay, and there are these five are... foot squares? Yes, these are five foot squares. So, um... can't get in the door. No, exactly. <laughs> Not easily. It, it takes an action to squeeze through the space, basically. Okay, so there are a trio of half giants in the chamber, um, probably standing guard by the uh, by the entrances. And this one has pushed the door open <coughs> and pokes his huge, brutish head through. Oh, there's people in here! And he starts to <laughs> squeeze himself through the door. <clears throat> uh, <okay. laughs> um, of his companions, uh, one of them uh, runs off in this direction, and the other one comes and stands uh, behind his companion there. Um, Ra, are you taking any actions? Oh, hi, puppy. Am I able to attack them as they come through? So you could, in fact, use your action to kind of, yeah, you, you could use your movement to clamber up and stand here and then hit him as he comes through. Sudden half if giant. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, like, a, hello. Like, a, like a jack a lot. Like, what do you call us? Like a pop? 
I just stick Jack my in the box. Jack, Jack, like, that's the one. Hey. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, Jackie Kennedy. Uh. Um, how can I get it like a full round of attacks or just one? Uh, no, uh, take your two attacks or, or three if you wish. I kind of feel bad for these guys, but I'm doing it. I do like the low tech approach they use to securing this facility. I'll put a big block of stone on it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally what it says is a huge block of stone. I love it. <laughs> I don't know if uh, 28 hits. Oh, um, yeah, their armor class is 20. 70 damage. 70 All right, damage. perfect. So, yeah. Got two, four. Okay. 70. Yeah, right. You hack, hack, hack into the half giant. He shouts and he goes, ah, 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 but ah, pushes him through, <laughs> lubricated with his own blood, oh, and God. staggers <laughs> forward into the chamber. Sweet. Ah, I'm gonna kill you for that. He says, uh, "Bingle bangle, you're up." <laughs> Great. <laughs> wow. Kill you for killing me. <laughs> okay, well, is he through the doorway now? He is indeed through the doorway. And okay, kind of, well, oh, he's, <laughs> oh man, his his legs are going to have a bad time. <laughs> Stab his toes. Yeah, well, I'm going to try and incapacitate him. Use, use his, um, use his but testicles like, you know, like a punching bag. No damage. Any other day, you know, I would. But time is of the essence. Um, so I'm just going to, yeah, AC break his legs. AC 20. Okay, go. Okay, dokie. Okay. That drumming that you're hearing, that's... Speed bag the ball sack. Is gonna work? Yes. Oh, hold on. Swibbity, swibbity, swibbity. It's not working. Are you having trouble with your um, interface? <laughs> My technology! Yeah. Yeah, I want to do two, two attacks with my swing stick and one offhand. Am I rolling for you? Um, would you mind? Because everything's okay. frozen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So It'd not work. Oh, oh, there's a whole bunch of dice suddenly appeared. Uh, two hits. Oh, was that me? It just, yeah, just, just pinged up oh, just now. Oh, okay. Weird. Well, okay. um, pending for the damage. <laughs> Oh, you actually rolled damage as well, have you? Okay, I, I, so you I may or may not maybe. have hit the half giant. You can't quite tell. <laughs> it's like a kind of quantum superposition from the third series. We'll of return Dark. after these messages. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, your damage actually would. This is really weird. Your damage would be uh, d6 plus six times two. So I'm just going to roll that. Um, yeah. Two d6. Uh, five and a three. Eight plus twelve is twenty damage. Okay, you crunch, crunch into the half giant's uh, legs, and he does indeed collapse. One leg giving out completely, um, but still manages to be alive, holding himself up on one fist. His knee splayed against the floor. Um, oh dear, tick tick. Uh, can I make it up out of the the thing in one move? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay, well, my movement will just be to leap through the through the manhole. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden <laughs> bug. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll Sudden just lay cream. into the half giant. <laughs> yeah, he has ten hit points left, so he's dead. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, can I? If I have some movement left over, I might be able to attack the other one. <laughs> uh, that will that requires squeezing out of the room, which will take up the rest of your round. But then, that, then. But I could use my chat. You could use your chat attack. You could use them if you should. should, you should, you should. <laughs> so, um, uh, Although if attacks. I mix and match, mm, yeah, hmm. yeah, no, no, never mind. I'll just, I'll just murderize the half giant. Yeah, okay, take a set. Yeah, take his, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This is what I'm going to do. My because obviously he, he dies pretty quickly under the first or mm -hmm. second attack. I'll mm -hmm. use the remaining attacks to decapitate him and throw his severed head into the hall. Oh, awesome! Immediate morale check for that. I think these guys have morale fifteen. But um... can I use my Hilda action to search the body and of then the I dead make, man? I make, <laughs> I make unearthly bug noises to, 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 to intimidate him. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. The uh, uh, half giant stands his ground, staring down at the head in horror and listening to the horrific noises coming out of the of the, of the room. Um, but yeah, <laughs> makes the morale check. Fear of the yeah, unknown. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Rogo is dead. <laughs> does the sound? Will the guy get disadvantage on his morale check? <laughs> disadvantage. 
Uh, um, uh, dwarf, I heard uh, you said something yeah. about a held action there. I, I said basically, I climbed up and was just standing there. If he falls over, can I just check him real quick? Check his body real quick, see if there's anything on him. Uh, yeah, there's a, a set of keys. Um, he has well, that, those a, might be useful. <laughs> a, st a steel sword and a, a black steel breastplate. I'll let everybody, I'll take the keys and, um, uh, Anybody need a sword or a breastplate? <clears throat> um, is there any insignia on it, or does this black steel breastplate mean anything? What do I know uh, about black, black steel? Ste yeah, uh, it has the emblem of the of the of Tear upon it. Uh, it's the old emblem from prior to the fall, which is prior, which is simply a Kallax profile. Uh, it's chased in gold. You think it's real gold? Uh, do uh, I know anything about uh, black uh, steel strength or? You do not know, but you can make me initiative rolls, please, for the next round. I'll take the sword and the uh, keys. And... Okay, uh, and it's from Bengal Bangle. Uh, it is five. Oh, we 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 re rolling. Yeah, for the next round. Lodo. Two. Two. Are there supposed to be two Lodos on the map? There's one of you over here as well. I'm going to get rid of him. I need to, I need to put m me on the map too, apparently. Uh, Tickety, what was your initial? Twelve. Well, next to the door. Can you make, 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 make the bug bigger? I will, in just a second. Matthias? Seven. You have um, Ra? Six. Six and ten. Seven. Also, the mighty Nevin. Okay, good. Um, let me just embiggen the bug. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Very cute little thing, isn't he? Yeah, he's very cute. <laughs> and, and, until suddenly... <laughs> until suddenly... I can't, I can't select him. What? You're the DM. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> I just keep moving okay. around. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> he just keeps moving. Where's the selector thing? Boing. There, there we go. Ah, yeah. behold my immense bug butt. Is it Good. Okay, yeah. Lodo. Uh, Lodo proceeds to uh, cast um, uh, um, on, on the creature uh, an, an immense aversion on this entrance here. He, wasn't get, oh, he doesn't right. want to get anywhere close to that, to that entrance. Does he get a save? Um, I don't think so. Well, let me just che let me check. You must have your spell powers handy. I, I will. know. I think you can <laughs> talk like that the rest of the campaign. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Spell no, fails. no, no. It's just a roll. <laughs> my, my roll to, to do to do it. Here we go. Boom! This roll, and it works. It works okay. Uh, he yeah, he's, takes several <laughs> steps backwards, staring at the door in horror. No, no, no. Well, I mean, it sort of kind of ties what? into what we already did before. Exactly. So. Bingle bangle. Yeah. Well, um, it, allow, it allows you guys to get out without him hitting you while you try. Well, should I attack then? Is that even worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. I'm gonna hit him again. Is it two so, and one so again? So you race out the room to uh, to in to engage the other one. Engage. Yeah. Okay. Engage. So, on the on the heels of the head, a small halfling comes <laughs> charging out of the chamber. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I just and it's at this point uh, that the half giant goes, "No, it's Bungal, Bungal. We're doomed. We're doomed." <laughs> he what the fuck? Immediate in immediate morale check. Oh my god. I'm so badass. He fails and flees. That's uh, hilarious. You get, a, you get a free attack against him as he runs. Uh, Crack his knee. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Bengal is just gonna... so so engrossed in the moment that he totally forgets to attack. <laughs> I'm going to stab him. Like, yeah, yeah. Several times. <laughs> okay. Go then. Uh, this guy isn't actually here anymore. He I love that the last round. these half giants are scared of the half <laughs> It's funny, but it's true. Yes, they uh, should all be. three hit. All three hit. Yes. Uh, and that is, and they're large, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Goody goody. 
<laughs> hey, on the plus side, <laughs> these corridors are wider. 22. 22. Uh, Mark, he, he doesn't want to go near the corridor because he was in the corner, wasn't he? If he goes near the corridor, he has to come near, near, near to the door, which he also doesn't want to get near to. I think he's just going to cower in the corner, to be honest. Hold on. I'm sorry, did you want an autograph just before I kill you real quick? <sighs> you seem like a fan. Um, I, you put a version on the door, right? Yeah, So, it, and he, does, he doesn't want to get within 20 yards of it, is a description of the, of the spell. Uh, is okay, that for so me? He's, so, so 20 then he's yards. Gonna, he's he is <laughs> going to flee in that direction. Yeah. He's fleeing in the other direction. Because... Yeah. Okay, I'll just put him, squeeze that's, him down that hole. Yeah, that's 60 feet, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's, so that's half this map. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, good, good, good. Uh, so Bingle Bangle, you're briefly kind of left standing alone in the middle of the room with a large kind of trail of blood in this direction as the half giant runs and quite literally starts squeezing himself um, down this side passageway here. I'll just reveal some more of that for you. Uh, it kind of runs it's off. like in this walking direction. sideways. What, what did that even do? You guys are legends, and he's there, and you've got Oh, the well. And Stop it. So. Go on. Right. Uh, that was Bengal Bengal. Uh, Ra, you're next. Didn't recognize me. Oh, no, he can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> um, You said it was an action for them to crawl through this gap. It is. For the large creatures, it's going to take your whole round to squeeze through any five-foot space on the map. So that's yeah, that's you, Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to just squeeze yeah. through. Yeah, I'll do the yes. same for my action. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, it's it's Matthias and Tin next. Right. Um, well, we want to pretty much... I'm on a full sprint run and try to uh, obviously stay hidden as I can. Um, I'm assuming I can sort of move quite fast while hiding in shadows. Uh, you question. move at half speed. You move at half speed unless you have the uh, the fighting style that allows you to move at full speed in darkness. Okay, so half my speed is at people's normal speed. You, because of your thingy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I really don't want to know uh, about his thingy. I just really want to see disgust. if I can see the other giant. So you're, you're, you're <clears throat> opening the doors and having a look? Yeah, obviously I'm hidden. Yeah, let me just... Uh... Okay, so um, you see a, uh, a long east-west corridor. Uh, the half giant is actually just disappearing around the corner here at the end of that round. Uh, can I get a shot off on him? My shot, I can get two, two shots uh, off on You him. can, yeah, you absolutely can, yeah. So just pop yourself into the corridor, please, and then you can take a shot at him. Uh, and... I could do it from wherever I can do it from there. I will shoot twice. Da -da -da. Which are poisoned. Where are you? Hit, hit. Yep, both hit. That's the first saving throw. That's a pass. Uh, I have to check that. That's a fail. By two points. <clears throat> what, is, uh, it, is it death poison? Uh, hang on. Da, da, da. Yeah, because I didn't say any about minuses or anything. So that one could be a mole worm, sort lime, death. Okay. Uh, he hits the ground, coughs once, coughs twice, and slumps against in the corner of the uh, <coughs> in the corner of the passageway, juddering as the poison takes effect upon him. Uh, Constantin. All right. I will optimize my armor. Yep. You're looking good, Tim. You're looking good. Yep, yeah, thank you. Okay, so I am yeah. adequately optimized. Uh, I'll hold the Githka in a uh, defensive position, so that way I have my... Uh, we haven't renamed it from uh, Wall of Wood yet, so... Yeah. And I'll just uh, okay. move out behind uh, Ra here. Okay, cool. You have to stop at the doorway, like... <sighs> just... And then you can catch up with them. That's how I'm feeling in real life. Jeez. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and finally, Tick Tick, and you <laughs> emerge into. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> into the hallway. 
It makes that noise too. Uh, Liquid giant blood. <laughs> oh god, I'm covered in the stuff. Uh, this uh, exactly this half Ow. giant. Uh, uh, Ow. As I said, it's on me. <laughs> runs uh, down here, uh, out of sight, and into that chamber down there. Warns his what's... 52 friends. Yeah, I'm just checking what's in there. Oh, but yeah. They can, ha, 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 ha. But, but they oh, can so only it's... come at us single file. <laughs> He's laughing far too loudly for my liking. <laughs> Big Flea goes, guys, been goals in there, run! <laughs> okay. Um... Picturing this dining room full of half giants, and they're all <laughs> terrified of this one halfling. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, initiative for everyone, please. I don't know what I'm good to do, so I'm just going to roll a d10. Tray. Uh, I'll be with you in just a second. I'm just um, adding some tokens to the map. <clears throat> okay, and uh, okay, go bingle bangle. Uh, nine. Do we nine. actually know which way to go? Lodo up is the only uh, advice you have. Lodo. Okay. I like how like you're not you not actually technically speaking weren't even in the tower before you'd blown your cover. That's quite good. Tick tick. Uh, I rolled a three, but that's I don't know what I'm doing yet. Yeah, that's cool. No targets. Seven. Ra. Five. Pamph. Ten. Seven. Five. Also. Okay, and five, six, seven, eight. And Mr. Chuckles is on a. Oh, that's shit roll. Mr. Chuckles. Yeah, Mr. Chuckles. Okay, tick tick. What are you doing? At the moment, I'm waiting to see what well, everyone else is doing. So, so, uh, <laughs> waiting? What's that? Mr. Chuckles is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck, fuck knows what's going on. He, he uh, sounds like fun. I want to meet him. Well, I just kind of. Um, you want to hold action? Hold action for now and kind of take up a defensive posture. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, tick tick. Held. Uh, Ra. Uh, have I seen anything yet come by? No, never. Not never in your entire well, not, life. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I said it. <laughs> Do I feel or hear anything coming? No. Do you I don't. Sense um, anything? You're, you're aware of Tick Tick kind of beside you, just sort of in a defensive position. Voguing. Um, voguing, yeah, but of. Uh, yeah, I think I'm also going to just hold my, my action to attack. Yeah, um, cool. At least until something shows itself or my friends make a move. Yes, got it. On okay, our initiative number rock. 10. Hold your, <laughs> hold your hand. Okay, um, again, uh, Matthias and Tin, you guys are completely in sync. It's nice. We are. I'll let you go first this time. I am going to stay there in a defensive position. Thanks for allowing me to do that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hidden still, I'm going to, obviously after killing that giant, I'm just going to peer around this corner to see what you can see. Okay, can see. yeah. Okay, so it's the, outside the chamber, it's all lit with torches um, set into fine and old metal sconces. So you have a, a good view down the entirety of the, of the hallway. And you see this. That's a side passage in case that's not clear. And on this side, that's not actually showing up properly there. Let me just... There you go. And no one's down there, no? No, nothing at all, no. Um, <clears throat> you can, however, hear from down here uh, shouting of voices. And you're sure you hear the phrase uh, min-max and murder. In, in deep-dooming half-giant voices. Never. <clears throat> Have a quick smile. Grab Maybe my we two should darts just have a meet and stuck in this dark giant, and I will and head what? back. Do to what? The, the, the pick up, the pick up yes. my two darts. Yeah. And I will. Um, seeing nothing down here, I will run down here 
Did we ever we... inquire if we needed to actually go by, you know, in this covert <clears throat> way? Maybe we could have just rung the doorbell and come in and they would have let us in. Sorry, carry on, Lee. Where are you going? <laughs> Over to there. Having a look down that corridor. <laughs> okay. Right. I shall peer around the corner. What do my elven eyes see? Nothing. The chamber beyond itself is entirely cased in obsidian. The whole thing. Walls, floor, ceiling. Only the door at the, at the far side, which is an immense slab of some unidentifiable black metal, is not made from the glassy stone. There are several obsidian orbs of varying sizes in neat little rows on one side of the room. I shall spread it at all to the group and report that. Okay. Bingo, we might need your necklace here. My necklace, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. The one that shatters obsidian? Yeah, it's like the items that I've got, I know what they do. You know, oh! You know, the brooch that you've got. I don't think that's a necklace, though. It's a brooch. Brooch, yeah, sorry. It's a brooch, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do I, uh, what was the word that I had to say again? <coughs> I'm not saying Laffle. user. Uh, <laughs> can, we, can we stick to the priorities? Oh, whoa, 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 no, we're not having, we're not having discussions. Um, oh. Bingle Bangle, your initiative is next. Oh, uh, what was that stupid word? I don't have the item card, I don't think. It says it on there. Uh, if you look in chat for brooch of obsidian shattering, I think that's what oh, it's called. Yeah. Just, just type in brooch in chat and you'll, it'll, it'll pull up the card. Brooch. It then. Um, I'll come back to you while you look at that. Uh, Loda, okay, you're okay. next. Um, uh, so I'm going to react to what was just said. Uh, shall we focus on the, the creatures that are looking for us before we start throwing uh, spells around? I heard voices come in from down that corridor. I killed the one giant. So let's uh, go on and, and, and look those up before they start alarming other people. And this well, all they're, spins they're completely out of control. Max, so. Lodo, any actions? Um, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... What's, I'm peering around the corner here. What do I see? It's all dark here. Here. What's going Where on? Where are you? Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I haven't read yeah. that properly. Uh... Er. That's cool. and okay. this is So um, from this distance, there appear to be lots and lots of trophies on the walls. Um, strange beast heads, suits of armor, ancient weapons. That's all you see with a, with a first glance. Okay. And this is a, um, a wall? Yes, that's a wall. Okay. Is there anything magical in this room? Because I have my detect magic still running. That's why I'm asking. No. Good. Move it. Then I move on. <coughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Wait, there is something. At the rear. So two of the trophies, they look like shrunken heads on uh, small high platforms, both of them are radiating incredibly powerful necromantic magics. And as you watch to your shock, they begin to move in your direction. Oh. Um, shrunken heads floating, incoming. And, um... Floating can, shrunken heads. Can me and Tick Tick activate our held actions? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, As we take on the heads from the bus in Harry Potter. Um, I'm going to uh, up my psionic defenses. I am uh, also having I'm... trouble finding the brooch, by the way. Uh, the, the word is shalakan. Um, and I will... Um... Oh, yeah. I will, I will... I will link the item in, uh, in Discord for you. Uh... Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm trying, to add, I'm trying to add. Yeah, I'm trying to add my tokens to the map, but it's being really difficult. Probably six of them are all going to appear, and there's one. Um, and I have a picture of these dudes as well for you in a second. Why did I know that was going to be? There was going to be some kind of horrible animated thing in there. <laughs> You're like, there's trophies. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Here we go. 
<clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, so at the moment, you, know, you can't see any kind of real details, but there's two kind of horrible uh, severed heads have detached themselves and are floating down toward you. You said you activate your designed defenses there, Lodo. Yeah. What do you mean yeah. specifically? Thought shield, my thought uh, shield. Okay, and that boosts your Mac by what? Uh, by f five. By five. Okay. Oh, or is it by seven? Let me check. Let me check. I'll, I'll get back I'll to you. Back to you yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Um, Bengal Bangle, did you have something that we had held that people talking about held yes. actions? Uh, yeah. Do, okay. Um... So, wait, wait, wait. Okay, in order then. Um, the brooch is here. Tick Tick uh, is going to still hold because I don't know what the hell those things are. <laughs> yeah, I haven't All even seen them yet. Severed heads. Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Ra, anything from from your held action? Oh, I thought. Um, didn't our new friend say that there was these heads incoming? Yes. Yep. He did. Okay. Yeah. So hearing that, um, am I able to sense where they are because they're not on the ground? You can hear these their... weird hissing kind of. <sighs> <laughs> noises coming from okay. uh, from somewhere close by, so that's probably not something good. Are they drunk I'm going to head towards boys? that noise, which I assume is one of these heads. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Um, uh, and then I, I would like to to attack it. <laughs> a a AC twenty. All right. Does it match um... the hissing I heard earlier? <laughs> yes, it does, Matthias. <laughs> you hit the head three like times. Small. Yeah, uh, they're, they're small. No need to roll damage, though. You whack it left, right. It actually bounces off the wall over here. It hits the floor. Uh, and then with your... Oh, oh, what have I done to him there? I made him all weird. <laughs> what did I uh, do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh, no. Whoa. I stood on it. I think I stood on it. <laughs> she turned it into a discus. Oh, that's so funny. I can't even put him right again now. <laughs> okay, well, he just has to live like that now. <laughs> and then bounces and lands, comes to a halt somewhere over here on the far side. Wow. <laughs> this is just where you live now. Smushed. Does okay, it stop um, making noise? Do I think it's dead? No, it sounds quite upset. Uh, tin, and uh, if you have a held action as well, so take it if you want. Oh, there he goes, back to his normal size. No, that's, that's making it worse. I'm still, I'm still just full defensive. It it ups my, uh, my thought shield ups my mech to 30, Mark. To, th to 30? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, cool, cool, cool. did they seem okay, damaged so, yeah. by this at all? Uh, no, in fact, um, uh, well, actually, Tick Tick, you can't tell, but... Um, no. But I mean, I suppose if you go and stand there, you could. Uh, you can see that Ra has knocked it around, knocked it around two or three times. Um, and uh, however, there don't appear to be any actual injuries on the thing's weird leathery exterior. Um, Bingle Bangle, anything from you? That's not a good um, sign. <clears throat> yeah, am I still going ahead with the obsidian blowy uppy thing? Don't ask me. I, I wasn't. Good. Yeah, Be prepared. Tell you the way. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I mean, so there are these two floating heads. Um, I mean, smacking about didn't seem to do anything. So... And you hit it with, with a magical weapon, right? She hit it with blood letter. Yeah. That's not... Blood okay. letter is magical, I believe. Yes. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, bingle, bingle, I'll, what's it gonna be? I'll try hitting with my elemental blade, the same one. Okay, cool. So, um, as you run in, I'll pop up the pictures of them so you can get a good close to see. This is the one that's all kind of weird and hissy, an emaciated, horrible form, eyes sunken, its top knot on the top of its head, the bottom of its, uh, of its neck is stitched shut. And uh, Gross. this is the other one, uh, the one with a kind of deeper rolling, choking on molasses type voice. Is this, is it, are we playing Curse of Monkey Island right now? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Christopher for Justin Moneymaker for the artwork like on these. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, Bingle Mangle, you have an action if you wanted. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit it with my elemental blade. <coughs> okay, cool. So, um, which one? The, um... the one that Ra tried to hit. I hit 30. That puts you over here. Nice. Okay. 
Um, you stride forward, strike, thwack with the blade. Um, the sharp edge fails to penetrate the thick skin and kind of skitters uh, off the edge of its skull. Uh, the thing rises up off the floor, hissing and slavering. Your puny weapons cannot harm us mortally. <laughs> I did not ask, bro. What I'm telling you anyway. Well, that's good, but shut yeah, up. It is. No, you shut yeah, up. Yeah, okay. No, you. I live here. You don't. Uh, okay, so well, you're just ahead. Uh, take, you need to take oh, actions. Oh. <laughs> so weird. Verbal conflict. <laughs> oh, my God. They said quit while you're ahead, so I did. Uh-huh. Um... Anything from Tick Tick or Tien, then otherwise we move on to the next one. Well, apparently they can't be in injured by physical damage, so I'm just going to hold back for now. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll, please. Initiative? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, no, I've changed it. Really, I might want to run a refresh on that. Mm. Just in case. Oh, God, they're on a 10. Useless bloody half giants. Uh, and he. Oh, he's much better. That's good. Right. Um, Bingle Bangle, what are you on? Seven. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Lodo. S sorry, I have to adjust my Mac to 32, Mark. Okay. It's my What's your preferred initiative? defense. Yeah. Uh, my initiative is four. Tick, tick. Uh, four. Matthias? I think he's frozen. Okay. Ra? Uh, nine. And ten. Um, eight. Cool. Cameras are uh, wonky right uh, now. We'll we fix them when he comes stream? back. I'm seeing network error here. Is that just me? It looks like, um, yeah, he's he's out, and we're all over the place. Yeah, I'll fix the cameras once he reappears. <coughs> <coughs> okay, no problem. Um, okay, so uh, Lodo and Tick Tick at the beginning of the round. Oh goodness. Um... All right. Um, God, what am I going to do? Um, I'm going to hold. You're holding. Okay, uh, Loda, what about you? Um, um, Loda holds to... Okay. Actually, I have an idea. I am going yep. to throw a flask of oil at one of the heads. Yes. Um, and... Um... Roll to hit, please. I don't know what the to hit roll for that would be, but I'll just roll a d20. Mm. An 18. Beautiful. The flask sails through the air, spattering the, uh, the, the head. Let's, let's make it this one. Um, yes. Spattering, spattering the head with oil. Okay. Uh, the um, thing shrieks. Ah, what? No, no. Okay. And then I charge up to it with Othan's flame and hit it. Whoa. Okay. Across the chamber, you charge one foot pounding after the other. And give me an attack roll, please. AC 20 on this thing. This is... It's armor class ah, nineteen. No. <laughs> but it's but 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 it's it's got flames licking off the blade. If I come close to it, does it ignite it? Uh, just let me look at the, read out uh, the advantages on Earthhand's flame. What, what, what does it get pluses against? Uh, la, 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 la. that's a good question. Very good question. I will uh, <laughs> have to open the file. Uh, <coughs> flame. Shame. Uh, plus four versus undead. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. It's a hit. Um, yeah, it easily ignites oil, burns webs, sets fire to yes, paper, parchment, okay. dry wood. It's a hit. The flames. The thing goes up in flames. Hair crisping, eyebrows shriveling. It gives off a high pitch. Yeah! 
and leaving a smoky trail of greasy smoke flees northward in this direction. Uh, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it goes flying past you in the hallway, Matthias, leaving a whole trail burning, shrieking, filling the air with horrendous howling noises. Well, that was more effective um, than I expected. <laughs> seconds later, the doors burst open, and none other than Torban, commander of the Tower Guards, whom you're pretty fucking sure is supposed to be dead, <coughs> comes striding in, Elan. head to toe <laughs> in black metal plate armor, wielding his enormous trademark club. Ugh. Uh, Compensating he, for much. Yeah. Uh, he uh, strides forward, stops, Head sniffs, uh, spins in both directions, and you can see undead fire burning within his eyes. At this proximity, uh, Matthias, although he doesn't appear to be able to notice you, uh, you can sense the deathly pallor of his skin. Uh, it's once ruddy complexion, now a, a, a grayish tone. Nevertheless, he opens his dead jaws, and black mist comes rolling out. <laughs> Filling the entire room. He clearly doesn't know you're there, but you're caught in it just as much as so our Lodo, go, then. Lodo and Tin. Uh, you haven't rolled initiative yet because you were frozen. Give me a roll. Um, uh, I didn't get my action last round, though. Uh, roll, please. Uh, I'm in shadow form, by the way. Matthias on 10. Okay, so can I have uh, saving throws against Breath Weapon, please, then, from Matthias and Tin? I, I've got no idea what's happened, so... I didn't get my action from last round, either. The half-giant has opened its... Yeah, no, you, you were frozen. We've, we had to skip past that. Um, the half-giant... Oh, has oh, uh, undead half-giant has opened its jaws and breathed out a Breath Weapon of some foul, black, miasmic form. Okay, it catches you and everyone else in that chamber. Uh, Portek doesn't have, uh, Lodo doesn't have to save because he's um, uh, in shadow form, but you and Tin both do. Breath weapon, please. I saved. <clears throat> okay, that's a no. Uh, I'll take it one's a natural fail then. One is an auto fail and a seven throw, yes. Um, and you can feel the freezing black energy begin to sap your strength away matthias uh, your strength drops from 12 to 9. Um, no penalties accrue as of yet however and uh following that the half giant torban completes his movement and strides into the center of the chamber staring down at the shadow form briefly and then over toward uh toward where tim is standing uh, okay, Bingle Bangle, you're next. Tick Tick and Lodo, you both have held actions, of course. I use okay. my held action. <coughs> uh, okay, Bingle Bangle, you go first. Tick Tick, you'll get a plus one to your initiative and can access immediately after. All right. Um, Did I use elemental... my held action? Sorry. Held actions and changing actions apply a plus one initiative penalty. Um, the so if, elemental. I'm if... oh, sorry. Carry on, Lucan. I was just going to say the elemental blade. That's what I'm attacking with. That doesn't um, have any sort of fire to it that I could it also. Does, it does not. Set no. To under. Okay. No, it's elemental. Air, then, cool. yeah, that's right. Um, then I'm just going to uh, fall back, I guess, because there's not okay. much I can do at the minute. I for my Just held action back I will to the other room. Okay, good. For my held action, I will jump to the other side of this room here, in the shadows. So shadow, shadow jump. Okay. Um, look and move your little dude to where you need to be. Yeah. Uh, likewise, Lodo. Assuming you pass. Uh, plus 16, uh, that's 21, yes. That's got to be a pass. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And you blip across the chamber in the shadow form. Um, do you need me to move Bingle Bangle, or do you have him, uh, Lucan? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's frozen again. Okay, I'll move him out <laughs> to the to the large chamber. Um, Torban yeah, is in there, to, right? Yeah, like, poor tech, essentially. Um, oh, uh, is he? Uh, 
Portek has come into the room with you. Can you not see your, your roll 20 screen at all? No, it's it's frozen. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so um, you are in the in the trophy room with the head, along with uh, Ra, Tick Tick, and Portek. Um, yeah. In the outer chamber, there is Matthias, Tin, and and the undead Torban, uh, captain of the half giants. You know what? Never uh, mind. I am staying in the room that I am in, but I'm going to fall <laughs> back behind uh, Ra and Tick Tick. That's where I put you. Good. Okay. Thanks. Um, as you take up that position, uh, the and optimize my armor. Yep, it gives a, a hissing laugh. There is a throb of psionic energy, and uh, it vanishes from sight. Oh, well. Who cared anyway? Uh, no one asked. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, Arnat, did you want to do anything with TikTok's held action? I thought my held action was used to set fire to that head, but I. Uh... Uh, that was last round. That was last round? Yep. Oh. Uh, well, in that case, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to charge Torban from behind, flanking him, <laughs> okay, cool. and hit him and hit him twice with uh, Othan's flame because I get two attacks this round, unless okay, he, changing yes, targets. Do. No, he's no. on plus twenty-two. You get two attacks anyway every round with uh, with Othan's flame because you're high enough level. Oh yes, I knew that. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a class twenty-two. Okay. Oh, both hit. Nice. Two solid blows. Uh, Othan's flame. Uh, it gets plus four against undead. He's large. And undead. Yeah. And undead. So that's... This is... This is. Uh, this should add three to the, each number. So that's yep. 15 and 20. So 35, 35 damage. 35. Okay, nice. Othan's flame, burning brightly, strikes the undead half giant. He snarls, spins to face you. Hefty and then I weapon. and then I uh, do a rapid retreat back into the room right next to Ra. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, anything from you, Tim? Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to use my rapid retreat and retreat into that room behind Tick Tick and Ra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sensing a theme here. Um, is there any darkness uh, along this wall, or uh, any of these walls? There is not. Uh, Ra. Um, hearing people go back and forth. Yeah, they're all, they're all kind of you. running and hiding behind you. So there's clearly something's <laughs> upset them. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move here, and is it possible for me to... Because I... I uh, hold on. No one has told me that this one's undead as well. So... Yeah, I'm just going to attack regularly then, because I'm not aware of his um, condition. Okay, armor class 22. <laughs> yeah, can I smell it? <laughs> yeah, he probably, probably smells can. a you bit. Probably, you, probably, you probably can, yes. Oh, all oh, okay. three hits? Wow. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if, how this would work, but I want to try and uh, knock him down if I can. With that uh, okay, theme. so that, that would you would replace one of those attacks with a CMB roll. All right. Uh, or replace the, the 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 last one with that. Uh. Okay, so uh, you hit CMB twenty eight, and his CMB his CMD, sorry, is. Oh, and if it does any damage to him at all, it's fifty one. I see. Yeah, 51 there. Okay. Uh, CMD is 31. So you miss that by three points uh, in uh, attempting to knock him down. But you do do 51 points of damage to him with the other blows. And then with <clears throat> my boots, I'm going to hippity hop back into the room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is in front of me, but I know that you don't want to stay next to it. So <laughs> I come back. Okay, um, and finally uh, for the PCs, uh, Matthias. Um, I will attempt to trip him. Yeah, so what did I say, 31? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I even do it? Trippity trappity. Jesus! Can I... How, Two whips they, from your main hand. What, what am I rolling to get that? Completely failed to, badly. Um, you rolled a one and a four there, or two and a four or something. 
And finally, ah, uh, oh, no! Uh, the last one wraps around his leg. Uh, the tall man stares down and yanks uh, the cord free and then strides towards you, hefting his blade and pointing at where you're kind of crouched oh. in the shadows. I will rapid retreat to here and hide. Oh, okay. Right, you get that far um, because on the next initiative count, two half giants come bursting. Oh, sorry, there. Two half giants come bursting out of that piece of corridor. And Have we all just them. retreated behind Ra? Is that are the game on, plan? Are they, on the, yeah. are they on the same initiative as me? Cool. You should, uh, <clears throat> you should look on Twitch. They're, they're coming, they're coming up the corridor towards you, so you won't be able to get past them. Okay, well, I will... Uh, so if I was here to trip, then I will rapid retreat. So can I... Seems really strange, but... Can I literally hide on the spot? No. No. Right, so I will rapid retreat into the room to here. Hide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not finished. One second. I will press hide. Uh, what the hell is it? Hide in shadows. Okay, nice. And then move back to here. <clears throat> Uh, okay, no, that's... Oh, wait, 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 let me just get this right. You can get as far as here. With 24 movement, yeah? Uh, it's 12 movement. Um, oh, so from here to there is 12. You've, you've, yeah. gone from, you've gone from here to here, back down to here. To this yeah. this this corridor and then back up to here, that's twelve squares. Okay, but I'm hidden though, yeah. Yes, you are hidden. Yes, crouch, kind of flat, just uh, against the wall, under underneath where there's a small overhang of a table, um, where the uh, the guards in these chambers um, put their broy. And as I said, um, a quartet of half giants come lumbering in from two directions to take up positions in the room itself. This is, uh, looking up, guys. <laughs> we got it. How badly injured does so Torban look? I've lost strength. I get punished by losing strength because I lost a go because of a shitty PC. <laughs> yep. Life is hard. He's, uh, he's bleeding from a couple of solid wounds, uh, but he steps forward. <clears throat> and I can see him <clears throat> chew down on what appears to be some kind of necrotic, vile, infected fruit. Dark red fluid pulps to, between his fingers as he imbibes the necromantic energies. And you can see some of the uh, injuries you've f done to his uh, undead form begin to, uh, begin to heal. Surrender, he calls. We don't even know what that means. You are favored in tear. You may leave with your lives. Pretend like we're idiots. Explain it really simply. Throw down your weapons. I'm not even going to say anything to that. That's just rude. And so we, we bottleneck them in here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm not exactly going to be a lot of help here. The other half giants move into, uh, into watch positions. Torban stands there, <clears throat> hefting his club. Why have you come? Only to die. There is nothing for you here. Yes. 
A voice says from behind him, Why have you come? He walks slowly into view, but you recognize him from his voice already. It's, of course, a Doge Malpain. Oh my god. Wasn't he dead as well? No. That was Vemet. Oh, oh yeah. Spoke to in the meeting. Why are you here? We seek information. do you think you can find here? I am hearing disturbing rumors from outside the city. Tithian is becoming unruly. What have you done? Yeah, I can't really remember the last time that Tithian was supposed to be our problem. Tithian is my problem. Yeah, so, what gives? What have you done? Why are you here? What are you looking for? Just let us kill them! Don't! Malpeng raises a long, nailed hand. When I brought you back to life, it was to do my bidding. When the time comes, you shall. Until then, wait. These are no fools. You know what they've accomplished? They would have come here with a design in mind. I just appear next to him. Lord Luther. Good to see you again. I didn't know you lived here now. Mind you, I didn't know anyone lived here. <laughs> but this is the traditional residence of the ruler of Tyr, is it not? Well, yes, but obviously Tithian hasn't been seen in months to a year. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about Tithian. So you're the leader here, then. You killed Kalak and power passed to me. And we need your help, then. I am a just and considerate liege. I ask you now a third time. What do you want? Why are you here? We seek more information from the libraries. We want to know more about this dragon. Leave us. But don't you leave us. And there's a snap of necromantic power. And you can see lights flare into a man's eyes. Yes, don't I obey? <laughs> 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 Snaps his gauntleted hands and uh, the remaining half-giants troop out of the chamber, leaving you and Dr. Malpain standing in the trophy room, surrounded this... by the forgotten fineries of the past. This again comes down to the, pe the fact that people just don't want to talk. If we would have known you'd be in here, I could have maybe asked for an audience with you. If you'd known I was here, you would have probably tried to do something about it. Why? We've done nothing about you so far? It's because I prevented it. You were too busy dealing with the Order of Sarnas. It's known as the Order. <laughs> Weren't you? And the only time our paths crossed, well, I recall making very sure that you couldn't speak of it. That didn't last very long, though. It didn't need to. I wasn't coming for you. I was coming for the idiot that I killed anyway. I needed that idiot. Never. Now the entire operation is threatened. What operation? The Levy. Where is the Evangian? 
Oh, he's with the dragon, of course. What? Exactly How? why we've come here for more information. So you did it. You brought him back. Yes. He looks over towards you, Tin. Well done. That takes no small amount of power. Just all of it. Yes. Now I shall have to reassess my opinions of you, then. You command the ability to summon the dead from the grey in such an advanced state of discorporation. So, he took him from you, did he? That would explain what I've been hearing. There was an Let illusion guess. of a dragon. Hamanu yes, betrayed you. Is, yes. Mm. Well, was he ever? Was he ever with us? Well, he has won himself an abeyance for a king's age. So my the sword that you me. mentioned to us, we found that. And as soon as we did, there was eyes on us all the time. Yes. Of course. So we've obviously had to deal with some uh, bashers, whatever they're called. I don't know. Yes, name? he sent his Kaishaga after you. That's it, those ones. Well, of course. You had his sword. Yeah, he didn't take it. Well, we did dispose of the Kisharga, didn't we? It's he anymore. didn't need it anymore. It's because he has the Evangelion now. What's he going to do with him? <coughs> Was this a ploy all along for us to get Corganard back just for them to die? It's like a little trap they laid. Possibly. Had I known you would be resurrecting him so soon, I might have considered this bargain myself. Tithian well, suggested you knew that you we know. Were. Yes. Tithian suggested we sell the Evangelion to the dragon. King's Age without paying the levy. You know it's killable. Help us. Come with me. He turns and walks from the chamber. Follow. Doesn't look back over his shoulder to see whether you're following him or not. I follow. Keep an eye out for any. The half giants are standing guard outside. Yeah. But he doesn't even give them the second glance, and neither they you. As in the wake of Dartmouth Pain, you work your way around to where you find a single stairway coiling up the heart of the tower. Up it you rise through residence chambers, strange coiling corridors, a throne room, and then finally into an upper floor where concentric circles of bookcases lie in the chamber. Uh, I actually have a... Do you have a picture? I want to see I that. I do. I do. <gasps> I have a map, but I don't have a picture. <coughs> um, it's all black at the moment. I shall unblacken it. Who turned the lights off? Uh, there you go. Uh, whoa, it's a guy. And that's that actually was, a giant, I'm unsurprised. Uh, it's a giant mosaic of Kallax's head. Wow. <laughs> wow. I He's, pee on it. Disgrace. He, <laughs> he is an egomaniac. He's special, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm no. so cool. I'm so glad we killed him. <laughs> I'm still emperor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still emperor. Okay, so there's Malpain, and you can put your dudes wherever you want on the map, in case um, all of a sudden you decide he needs he needs a murder, and I don't know why it's not lining up with the squares. I you know what I'm doing. <clears throat> yeah. 
weird, isn't it? Um, I'm going to use alt drag to put in the middle of the square. I thought I'd line this one up. It's not. He's giving me a kiss. <laughs> 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 Lord Malpain's like, and this is where I keep my pawn. Uh, uh, Lodo is uh, <laughs> you know, the, the place out with the tech magic and with the tech uh, psionics. Okay, so he you notice the se player. <laughs> several of the, of, the, of the books and scrolls and tablets in here radiate magic of all manner of schools. Some minor, some moderate, some extremely powerful. But it is a particularly large stack of thin clay sheaves that Malpain very carefully places onto a, a large reading table and unwraps from the musty velvet. Upon them, on the clay, a spidery hand with some kind of tool has inscribed words. I say tool, tick tick, it looks like it was made with a claw. Hmm. The, the same way that Crean writing has that slope and flick to it. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I was expecting to see Kallak up here. Huh. No, there have always been stories of his ghost, Malpain says, but he is gone. Here. And he slides one of the uh, the tablets across the table towards you. This one, and this one here. I'll read it. It's written in ancient version of Tyrion. And initially, at least, you struggle to make out the details, but it's talking about champions. Fifteen of them, actually. And um, it names them. Any you recognize? Well, should I say gives them titles? I mean, I can't read, but you know. The Curse, the Doom, the Ravager, the Scorcher, the Butcher, the Plague. The Bane. These sound like gladiator the titles. Indeed, yes, there's the Butcher, the Slayer, this the Annihilator. I've noticed oh. how I'm sensing a theme of like, like look how cool I am. You know? yeah. <laughs> Executioner, Scourge, and so on and so on and so on. Stormbringer. <laughs> yeah. Wolverine. Um, <laughs> Talks about. Uh, you, should, you should say that out loud, Roy. Actually, it's quite interesting. Um, it, it talks about these 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 champions being generals in wars, great wars of cleansing, wars that will change the face of Athas forever. It's. Again, the, the hand is so ancient that it's hard for you to tell, but you think, Matthias, that these wars are against everything that's not human. You see references to dwarves and elves, and, but other races too. Wemix or, or Wemix. Gnomes? Something like that, anyway, you're not sure. So <coughs> racial cleansing. They're fascists. Toward the end, the writing grows ragged. And it ceases to be so much of a historical account as... And here it's in a, a dialect you can understand. One must be chosen to bear the burden of what we have done, it says. By the elements, it shall not be me. So the levy is a repayment system 
from the punishment that they had from cleansing other races. Am I on the right lines? No. I don't know. But look. Fifteen champions. History tells us that at the beginning of the age of Sorcerer Kings, twelve of them emerged from the ruins of the Great Wars and took twelve cities. Seven only now remain. Here, he slides another tablet across. Two were slain. Or I can read too. Give me a book. Who, who, we can double who, who our they? efforts. Yeah, who were the names that were slain? The curse and the blight. Um. And one was chosen. That leaves 12 out of the 15. But chosen for what? Well, I found a clue here. And now. I mean, it could have been etched yesterday. I'm going to activate like Detect Lie at this point. Yep, it's the same hand. It says, His wards fail as the levy fails. I must do what I could not. I too must bear the burden now. Say that again. His wards fail as the levy fails. I must do what I could not. I too must bear the burden now. And this is in the same handwriting? Kalak wrote this. So... He, he, he puts it next to the, uh, to the older tile. Here. One must be chosen to bear the burden of what we have done, but by the elements it shall not be me. And here. <laughs> centuries later. He says it will be him. I think I know what one was chosen for. There was Kalak. Kalak was trying to do it too. Dragon himself into a dragon. So he did make, he shout something as he was on his dying breath, but I wasn't there. What, what was tick tick? And you were there. I don't remember the as a player. Uh, maybe tick tick does, but so. Just thinking about these wards, what have they locked away? No, something they did. They annihilated a whole race. Or they races. annihilated several. Yeah. But to what end? Why? And what is the burden that followed this? And why must... One have been chosen, one have been transformed. Why must one have... Why did a champion become the dragon? How many city-states were there? Twelve. Legend says there were twelve. You said twelve emerged. Fifteen champions. champions. Two, Two died, one became... This this transformed creature. There are fewer deeper answers here than these. I believe he destroyed anything that spoke of the truth of the events. We found massive gaps in the library yes. for the Templars. And we came to the conclusion that it must be here, those answers. Those gaps, they should be here. So they are not. Are you Portek now? Can I call Portek? Can I get him here? I'm sorry, I'm confused by the verbiage. These were champions. Champions of who? Generals of who? So. Yes, exactly. I mean, we're dancing around this, but two things were said that have made me think. Sorry for having to be verbose. One was the wards are failing. That means something is locked behind them. Right. Yes. And then two, you've mentioned that they 
one of them has to bear the burden and that they were called the champions or generals. Champions and generals serve someone. Yes. Now, this is do. my opinion. One of them has to lock away whoever their leader was. We need to find out who that guy is. And the oh. levy pays for that. It powers the wards. That does make or sense. am I a lunatic? Not at all. I do not think there is a single... No. Let me put it this way instead. This scroll is barely legible now. It is one of the most ancient in the library. For this reason, I've had it sealed under glass. Look. And he slides out almost like a tray from beneath one of the uh, the bookshelves. <coughs> a large, it looks like a picture frame under glass. But inside are the fragmentary remnants of a truly ancient piece of parchment. Yeah, see, this is in the tongue of the Tanish. One of the ancient realms that no longer exists. But it talks about here a great armies rising. Here it talks about the proper prophet of the Pale Tower. Calling that, the holy man. Wasn't that information that uh, that uh, Kirodias gave to Portek as well? The Pale Tower. You may well have indeed heard the phrase. But here, look. Here it talks about the first sorcerer. And still here, a figure known as the Warbringer. That sounds like a leader to me. Mm, I believe these champions served these three. I can find so few references. Their absence speaks to their significance. Well, we have met one of these ancients, but if he'd be willing to tell us. It makes sense. That of kill us, who knows? I mean, it does make sense. If, if, her, if assumed that the city-states were created by the original champions, the leaders of the city-states are the sorcerer kings. It explains why Hermanu and them are unwilling to turn on the dragon and truly assist us. Because they're the very people who agreed to put the dragon in place in the fir in in the, in the beginning. Yeah. And the if it is, is truly it, it, as yeah. I as I stated, if it is holding back, these wards are failing, and the levy pays to power that that ward guarded by their dragon. Let's call it what it is. Then he has no reason to save us or help us, because this was their design. He was part of the champions and why would he turn on now just a winged right. we still don't know what this wards remember, are. remember that Kirodia said that the the, the, the the sorcerer kings are more afraid of what the dragon keeps at bay remember but what does does anybody know what the, what it keeps at bay no that's no? the thing we don't know what the wards warded we were I'm assuming it's it a war bringer <laughs> I, don't, I don't know I mean for all we know I mean, I don't think Hamanu is a good person, but he might have just been doing what he thought was right. He, I mean, if you had the chance to sacrifice, you know, however many for to save a thousand, I feel like most people would take that. And if he has no faith in us actually being able to take on this dragon who, you know, is potentially doing these wards and things, it makes all the sense that he would do that to us. Of course it might would. not be that they 
Yeah. It, it might not make sense that they want to keep the dragon in power, but like Carodius said, it's they're afraid what happens if if not. I cannot imagine what is being kept at bay, but we have found evidence ourselves of the past in the Sea of Silt, for example, we found evidence of ships, oceans. We have found temples of ancient civilizations that no longer exist. This world was different once. And it was scoured by these champions to become this wasteland. Why did it become like this? Would the wards be to hold back maybe the angry and vengeful spirits of those that were slain? But that then begs the question, why were they slain in the first place? Oh. They were People purging. kill all the time. For they were purging, reasons. but why? Hatred of other races. Okay, hatred. But hatred does not explain... Wars can rarely be explained. And don't look for logic in hatred. No, true, but... Your kind do not think as do the humans and humanoids of the Tablelands. Green. They do not um, have the pack mentality that you have. And yes, hatred is enough for this. We have met some rare beings. One uh, was, it, was she Pyrie or something? What was she? A Pyrene. 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 Is a Pyrene any or in any of these notes? Pyrene. Yes. Come, we are not children talking of fairy tales. Oh, we've met one. We have. She's helped us many times. You have met some trickster, a priest, perhaps an illusionist, masquerading as a, as a thing of legend. She has warned us in the past, even about taking this sword. She warned us against it. Yet she has helped us even with Corganard and everything. If she is a trickster, <clears throat> then she is very knowledgeable. A very good one. Yeah. She was aware of not only the location of the sword, but what would happen after we. Uh interacted with it in any capacity. She could even be watching us now. Who knows? I don't know what they what the what can I, what they can do. I know she's special. If you say so, I will uh, bow to your greater experience. What is your point, Matthias? We're trying to make a point here. We've seen her in a few places. Oh, she's appeared to us in a, a few places, but is she going to be more willing to talk to us now that we maybe know more? We've got we've got the right, potentially the right questions to ask. We, the the one that the thing is, we don't know what it's warding. Could it be warding this land's savior, or could it be warding this land's destruction? We don't know. Does, so does, the, are they, are they, two? Th th there's another question that needs to be asked here of course there there's just uh, the the 12 cities that are paying the levy and putting keeping keeping this levy in place and with it apparently the wards and the dragon as far as our conclusion comes but there's more cities in this place there are several cities from the cream huge how cities many, apparently they're not paying a levy no, so this is very 12 cities are left with sorcerer kings seven that we know of yes is there any known location of all the 12 original cities do we know if they were all on the tablelands or if they were spread out the tablelands are vast you we live in but one small portion of them yes there were cities to the south of selik and nagarval and to the north eldarich and kern um the, Others have been swallowed by the sea. Ebe, Arala, Waverly. Okay. Others have fallen into ruin. Gustenau, Yaramuk, and Kalidne, Bodach. 
were all of these ruled by sorcerer kings? Many. My point was, whatever's being warded, is it going to be the savior of this land or the destruction of this land? Because my point leads to, that could mean, is the dragon a good guy or a bad guy? And are we doing the right thing? Or are we the bad guys? At best, I think the dragon is like the sorcerer kings, mass murderers who laid waste to the land who are now living with their the consequences of their actions rather than mm. good guys who are trying to you know gregariously save this world from from some evil force I agree. Kalak himself and he taps the, uh, the most recent tablet he himself believed it was now a burden that he would he had to take up that the dragon exactly alone fair. was insufficient. And of course, then you killed him. Well, they aren't, the, they aren't the facing bird? the consequences of their actions. They're making others face it. Yes. They're making, yes. slaughtering thousands of innocent people because they messed up. Would, would, the, would the issue be sated if we took out the ones who originally did this? We don't even know what the issue is. I, I think their problem, again, falls to knowledge. We need to know what they're protecting. What is behind these wards? And it's as simple as if we had the information, we would make a decision that makes sense. If yeah. they say, oh, well, look, we're, a guy made us kill millions of people and we're locking them behind these bars, we would, okay, then why don't we kill him? If we can't, we understand why you're warding him. If it's the souls of all the people we killed and we'd like to not be killed by them, well, then let's help them out. It comes back to knowledge, and we don't have yeah. it. Right. We need to find that Lamborghini guy in his garage who's like, but what's more important, knowledge. And we need to find him as an NPC and get access to his knowledge, and we'll know everything, and then we can drive a Lamborghini. I have no idea what this control. reference is. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't I was know. Kind of hoping this library would be that knowledge. Yeah. Well, we got quite a bit more knowledge, yeah, didn't we? Dog out, still my nuts in it. Um. I, I, I just. Look, I, look I just. My my thing is, there's no mention that he said of them rising up against. You know, nobody fighting them back. It just seems like they were swathing and killing everything, and then all of a sudden there's a ward, a dragon, and the rest of them are helping yes, some power wards. Missing. So Something very key is missing. So either there's an entire amount of information that we haven't found that states that the combined people of Athos rose up and stopped the Sorcerer Kings. Now you saw what it took for us to do it. There's no guarantee anybody else even in large numbers, could have done this. But there's no indication of what happened to the Warbringer. And as I said, champions and generals follow orders. My opinion is that I think they rose up against him. They probably realized something that we don't know yet and had to stop him. They locked him away because maybe they were cowards and couldn't kill him. It could I be that he was more powerful, but I just prefer to think the Sorcerer Kings are cowards. I think the only answer to these missing questions is going to come from either a Sorcerer Monarch or the Dragon. I don't believe anyone else knows the answers. So the they question have, becomes, who do you think is more likely to give us the answers? We, the we dragon or a sorcerer king? We need to bring this information um, to cross-correlate with the information that Portek already has. These tablets, he needs to have a look at those. Can we have access to this library? Look, we are no threat to you as long as you're no threat to the city. We understand what you're doing with the slaves and stuff like that. We understand that you are trying to pay this levy, but you understand where we are. We're not against you. Well, 
obviously we don't want to sacrifice the slaves, but anything that we can do to find more knowledge out of what we're trying to do surely is a, is a good thing. You have until High Sun, I believe. Mm -hmm. Allow us free access to this library, please. I will give you access to this library if I believe that you are acting against my best interests. I will place geeses upon you. What are your best interests? But I'm afraid of geese. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm... This is my city. <clears throat> it passed from the monarch to me. Those are my best interests. Come between me and mine, and you will regret it. What's Tithian's role in this place? A pawn. Indeed. He's no pawn. He, he might be manipulated, but he's not a pawn. How do you even know this Tithian guy? You, we need to know more about you. He's our high burglar. Yes, so I um, see. Allow me to get access in here. I need poor tech and my Corodius to look at this place. Find out if we know anything. I will certainly arrange for yourselves and poor tech to come here and uh, see what you need to find. Thank you. Sorry about killing your guards. Like I said, if I'd known it was you here, I would have just knocked on the door and asked. They're slaves. It doesn't matter. Well, you know what we think about slaves. As I said, do not come between me and mine. Pursue whatever pretenses you wish to in the city outside. I'll have word with Port. I can send him around. Please don't turn him into a banshee again. I will, leave I will leave word with Senior Minister Timor that Portek is to be granted access to the Royal Library. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to ask you a favor. Sure, in return for the freedom of your slaves. Ask away. If you intend to confront the dragon, please tell me first. You try to stop us. No, I do not wish to be caught unawares by the consequences of such an action. Um, so you can just go hide in your bunker. Well, the, the question more for you, obviously, is... Obviously, with you taking over this place, how do you become? Are you looking to become a sorcerer king, and is that, or, or are you already? Is that what happens with that? If you mean, do I have the powers of a god? No, oh, but did, I did am Kallic sorcerer. Really? Ask his Templars. The sorcery monarchs are gods. Make no mistake of this. And the dragon is something beyond any of them. If you go up against something like that, I would like to ask as a favor that you let me know in advance. And you have my word. I thank you, Lord Minthor. Is there anything else you think you could tell us to give us an advantage? Like, can we get a familiar like this? It's after food. I like your yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes here, and he tries to swipe food. When I'm trying to put it in my mouth, he'll try and swipe it out. So, <laughs> while while they're doing this, tin, I'm just going to turn around and say... Um, if you guys are going, I'm just going to stay and read. And I'll start looking and getting tomes and starting to thumb through them. Okay, cool. 
Um, uh, nice, that's going to be a, a good uh, justification for ancient history proficiencies. What's that? Can uh, so I... That'll be a good, good justification for ancient history non-weapon proficiencies. Can I um, see if, speaking of that, actually, given all this information that I've just been told by the various people in the room, can I see if I can tap into my racial memory? Yes. Uh, please do. <coughs> so, that is... Uh... Okay, give me a roll, please. Is it the same as Ancient History? The, 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 yeah, well, just, the, yeah, the modifier? Just the, yeah, just use the same number. Okay. Oh, bollocks. What did he get? Uh, 17, so that's a fail. Oh, that's over. Okay, right. So, <clears throat> there are echoes of the war in your racial memory. But you feel that it did not affect the Queen overly. But that's all. And perhaps that's why you're not able to draw any further inferences. How strange. Very. I ask, uh, I, I go up to Dote Malpain, uh, why were the Kreen not hunted? Mm, yes, I wondered that. Interesting that you knew. They're just not mentioned as... I thought them as just insects. Yes. Exactly wow. that. And how they underestimated the mighty Kree. Indeed. I pat Titic on the uh, on his carapace. Well, my friends. I, you I will leave you to your investigations. Thank you. Please consider yourselves my guests here in the Golden Tower. Um, I just go back to we'll reading. Spend, yeah, we'll spend a bit more time, me and Tin reading, and I'll call for. If the other guys are leaving, I'll tell them to go get Portek and Corodius. Okay. Did he say Corodius? I'm sure. <laughs> Should he said Corodius. He didn't actually say Corodius. He said no, he'd he arrange. For, he, he said he'd arrange Portek. for Portek and you guys to come in here. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna see. Um, I would like to leave and bring. Kyrodius back here right now as a gift to the undead. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, uh, so, so you're going, you're going off to, to get Kyrodius and what was that iron out? I want to scour the shelves to see if I can find any Kreen texts written in Kreen. Can you read Kreen? Okay. Yes. Mark, I'm kidding. I'm not going to get Kyrodius killed. Okay. Um... Yeah, if green all have are racial. Are saying mind reading? Should it... the other th us three go and get Portek? Yeah, I, yeah, I um, uh, Lodo is going to uh, stay with uh, the guys here and also looking through all the shelves. Okay. So who's going to find Portek? I mean, I'm more than happy to. Oh. But you, yeah, you Min and Max need... can go. Okay, so I guess it's because Max might need some assistance, so Min will be driving, I think. Take to the dwarf. No stealing. Unless you want to. Oh. We've lost Ra. She's back again. Oh. I say to the dwarf, yeah, no stealing. Unless you want to face his wrath. I think I want to avoid that. Yeah, I would. But I do want to know what's in here. For future reference. <laughs> Lodo, then, you begin perusing the shelves the m mysteries of the ancient world wait at your fingertips eventually you settle on what looks to be an ancient volume it's the earliest in a series the earlier the, f the first couple are missing but it's volume three 
of the ancient history of Tir Agi. The page is open to a beautiful sketch of a city on two rivers, forests covering its flanking mountain slopes. And as you settle to read that, a few shelves of a tick tick. F there. It's not in cream. It's simply called The Chronicle of the Wanderer among the Mantis people. And it opens with a description of a visit to something called the City of Strong Walls. As soon as your eyes read those words, there is a brief sudden judder of mental images. A city overlooking a shining sea. A statue of a halfling and a queen. And yet somehow the halfling bears the spreading wings of an Evangian. And then you're staring at the page once more. You settle yourself down to read. Minmax. Ra. Bingle Bangle. You make your way out of the Golden Tower, escorted by the Tower Guards, through the polished streets of the Golden City, and then off to find wherever Portek might be. Just the two illiterate ones are like, all right, <laughs> bye guys, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Uh, they got no pictures. We're leaving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but doing the weird, the weird reading stuff again. <laughs> she yeah. is waiting for you at the military academy, standing in the cool shadows of the courtyard, unnoticed by his students. She simply steps forward, her crimson hair announcing her presence. I'm the more Pyrene. looking at the pants, honestly. And her, her kick-ass abs. He has taken him, the Pyrene says. Okay, pretend that we're idiots. Start from the beginning. Who, what, it... I'm Where was it? Also, who has, are you? I can't... The, the dragon has <laughs> taken the Evangian. You recognize the voice, Ra. Oh, no, sure? yeah, She's... we've been new. We were there. I should not be the last to find out about this. Why are you not attempting to rescue him? Oh, well, um, we're gonna, but we needed to find out how. We're working on it. We actually came here to, to get someone who might be able to assist Yeah, us. I mean, we can't read, so we're not helpful, so... Ra, you can't see it, but Bingle Bangle, you with the Pyrene puts a hand over her face and she's trying really hard not to laugh. What? Something on my if, face? If it's help you need, then I think it's time I offered my assistance to you. Nice. My... Is Bingle on my shoulder? Yeah. I turn my head and just try and very softly say, are they, are they like, actually them, though? Are they, like, actually them? Can you tell? Uh, I, can I tell? <laughs> I mean, I we've met this person before, right? No, I she mean, I'm, she's more, like, wondering if it's an illusion. An illusion or, like, probably yeah. <laughs> not an illusion. Or an illusion. You know, like... like I'm You're real, right? Man, nor an illusion. Why don't I give you something you want to prove my good intentions? If she has those sausages from that town. Oh my god, I was just <laughs> thinking that. <laughs> I want sausages now. Mm, I sausage. was actually thinking of telling you how you can stop the dragon. Oh, well, excuse us. Please go on. Yeah. Most assuredly, I will. Ah, next there's always a next cat. Session, next session, yes. 